So there's a commonly used phrase in the black community. It's called a hit hit dog will holler. Commonly used. I've heard it all my life growing up. A hit dog will holler. And what that refers to is, is if you throw a rock into a pack of dogs, the one dog that you hit will holler. Yeah, I, my dog sound effect is 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 pales in comparison to Jason Earls. I just want to say that publicly. <laughs> but but a hit dog will holler, and clearly that is what has happened between rapper D One, Kingdom rapper D One, and and and, and uh, rapper Rick Ross. D One has called out Rick Ross, Meek Mills, Jim Jones, and others. And calling on them to do better, as he said, to do better about the music that they put out into the community, the images that they put out into the community, the 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 uh, the said and unsaid uh, 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 standards, principles, rules that they literally place into young people's lives and help shape their thinking. Murder music, trap talk, drug talk, all of these things that are commonly placed in in, in, into hip hop today, not even to talk about the whole demonic thing. I'm not going to talk about that. The bold, the bold devil worship and, de- and demonic activity that goes on in music today. That's he's calling hip hop to the carpet about putting these things out into the atmosphere. And he called these particular rappers out, and Rick Ross responded. And the way he responded tells me that yeah, a hit dog will holler. It is undeniable that hip hop has played a big part in shaping culture. Culture, which is the norms and values of society. So hip-hop has played a big part in shaping the thinking of young African-American men and women. It has played a big part in the move of causing and, and, and encouraging black folks into negative behavior. I'm not putting it all the onus on, on, on rappers. No, I'm not saying that. Just saying, well, you don't put all the onus on white folks and the man and all that. Nah, I ain't talking about none of that. I'm talking about the fact that hip hop does shape culture. Hip hop does cause people to think, act, and talk a certain way. Hip hop does cause people to move in a certain way. Hip hop causes people to make certain decisions. It is undeniable. Rick Ross didn't want to deal with that. So that's why he attacked D1 about his appearance. He attacked him about his supposedly talent. He didn't attack attack him on the merit of his argument. He didn't attack him about what he said. And then he then put up the fact that he gives out uh, gifts to the communities annually. You know, food, turkeys, he said. He talked about sneakers. All of that's admirable. I, I applaud you for that, my brother. Real talk. But at the end of the day, the slave owners gave the slaves gifts. Also. Yeah. There, there were slave owners who gave slaves gifts to pacify them, to keep them faithful, to keep them from running away, to give them something, just a little bit of encouragement while I take advantage of you. And I think that's what happens with a lot of rappers today. A lot of rappers take advantage of the African-American community. Some of y'all will say, well, how are you going to call and compare Rick Ross to a slave owner? I mean, first of all, he black. Guess what? There were black slave owners in slavery. I'm talking about historical slavery. I'm not talking about metaphor, meta, metaphorically. I'm talking about literally. They were black slave owners. And at the end of the day, if you're taking advantage of your community and you're utilizing them as a commodity, then in some ways, you're no different than a slave owner. Now, 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 now I can always already hear the pushback. Somebody's saying, well, slave, that's, that's kind of strong language. Let me, let me explain something to you. And this is what people got to understand today particularly black people. And let me, let me just drill down a little bit further and talk about young black people. You got to understand something. Y'all don't buy concert tickets the way y'all used to. Y'all don't buy albums at all. And y'all barely buy downloads. So it's challenging, quite honestly, for hip hop artists to even make money today. So what happens is if you're not spending the money, that means you're the, you're not the client. And if you're not the client, then you're the product. If you're not the client, then you're the product, which means that you are the product that folks leverage and sell to advertisers, to media companies, to networks, to anyone who would pay a dollar or two or few to be in front of you. 
you are the product. Never, never forget that. So what? The, what so alcohol companies want to reach a, a young African American audience because they know that if they get you with a free drink, or if they get you with some imagery of your favorite rapper sipping a certain drink, then maybe you'll buy that drink and you'll become a faithful client for many years to come. Yeah, you're the product. You're not the client. So, so, it's those, so there's not so much of a, a care about you or, or onus about you. It is a need for you. You are the product. And hip-hop takes advantage of the product. Hip-hop exploits the product, which is black people and particularly young African-Americans. Let's talk about that and a whole lot more today. Yeah, we're going to talk about this, this shortage of bus drivers and we also going to get into aging gracefully. Are you aging gracefully? <laughs> are you are, are you excited about getting older? And how are you getting older? What's your outlook on getting older? Let's get on that and a whole lot more. Do me a favor, family. Call your mama. Call your daddy. Call your auntie. Call your uncle. Call your cousin. Call your family. Call your friends and let them all know that the Akin Tunde show is about to start. Let's go. Another track late production. No joke entertainment. Let's go. One of the best stories that I have in satisfying one of our clients happened just recently. Uh, we had a young lady that was doing did a family reunion for, and then they came back and placed a reorder. Now, when they placed the reorder, we could not get everything done in time. Well, we had to pull a lot of strings, make some things happen, work a little bit late, but it worked out where we were able to get the t-shirts printed and out for delivery. That's the things that we do for our clients, and we want to do that for you as well. It's easy to become frustrated when ordering branded products and apparel, but PNB Promotionals is here to help ease those frustrations with their over 800,000 promotional products and apparel. Whether screen printed t-shirts, embroidered polo shirts, stadium cups, umbrellas, or mugs, PNB Promotionals has just what you need. Log on to pbpromotionals.com and start your order now. That's pbpromotionals.com. Or send an email to info at pbpromotionals.net. Info at pbpromotionals.net. Imprinting the best for less. P&B Promotionals. Hello, my name is Dr. Damon Daniels with Pathways to Wellness, a division of Wellspring Family Medicine. We're excited to be partnering with the Healthy Laughter Comedy Series. Our vision at Wellspring Family Medicine is to bring you the most up-to-date, cutting-edge medical tests to help you optimize your health. For instance, we have a pain-free, simple tool that takes 20 minutes to help you understand your heart disease risk. In addition, we'll be offering online courses to help you manage your diabetes, high blood pressure, or high cholesterol better. So connect with us on Facebook at Wellspring Family Medicine to take advantage of all the offerings we'll have to help you live a healthier, happier life. Greetings, I am Darrell Presley, owner and operator of Presley Cares Mortuary Services of West Columbia, South Carolina. Our mission here at Presley's is to provide excellent, quality, superior funeral service to all, regardless of economic status, religion, or race. With our society being embedded with a diverse class of people, our staff here at Presley's pledges to offer only one class of service, and that is superior. So rendering professional services to the families that call upon us is not an option, it's mandatory. Presley Cares Mortuary Services, 
where we are caring for you and your loved one. At my church, we help people get better by teaching them how the word works. And we want to make sure there is no excuse not to get the word. It's our goal to make all of our ministries accessible on every smartphone, tablet, PC, and television connected to the internet. So whether you're a man who needs some wisdom, a woman who needs some encouragement, or a couple who needs guidance, the My Church channel has just what you need. Simply search for the My Church channel on Roku, Fire Stick, or Apple TV, or visit MyChurchChannel.org. You can also download the My Church On The Go app from Apple or Google Play App Store. Constantly on the move? Check out the Word At My Church podcast on your favorite podcast platform. Or simply download the Word At My Church skill on your Alexa-enabled device. But whatever you do, make sure to stay connected. See you soon. It's the Akin Tune Day Show. Say what? Say what? You heard what I said? That's right, y'all. The, the, the Akin Tune Day Show. Smell it. A K I N uh, 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 Tune Day. Oh, yeah. Uh huh. Listen, y'all. Listen, everybody. Happy Thursday to you all if you are watching this live. Thank you. If you're watching this on replay, thank you. If you're watching this on audio download or listening to this on audio download, thank you. We appreciate you for uh, consuming this however you are. This is the I Can Tune Day Show. We're broadcasting live on Facebook, on YouTube, uh, on the brand new My Church channel. Download the My Church channel app. Get the app on your phone. I'm actually talking with Pastor Tucker about putting together a holiday promotion. I want to give away some money. So what you, you just simply have to download the app and then and then sign up for our email list and you could be one of the folks who can win, you know, some money. I'm not gonna give them an amount yet, but it's gonna be significant. Something to help you out for Christmas. Somebody. All right. Listen, y'all, Mary Kay is celebrating 60 years in business and still going strong. With quality skincare and beauty products, plus career opportunities with flexibility. Contact my sister Marcel Robinson McBride today at 803-406-0489 to set up a free skincare session or to learn more about the opportunities. Again, that's 803-406-0489 to get more information and to set up a free skincare session. All right. Make sure you let them know what you heard about it on the I Can Tune This Show. Uh, She's got some great uh, Christmas gift baskets. Guys, if you're looking for a gift for your mom or for your wife, for your daughter, for a friend, co-worker, whomever, this is a great opportunity and very easy gift to get that Mary Kay gift basket. Also, family, the Wendy Mills Agency is is, 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 is re-enrollment season, so it's a great time to get in touch with Sister Wendy. She's a licensed broker specializing in senior care and and Medicare, as well as ancillary products such as dental and vision. They also have other health plans and life insurance for all ages. Make sure you give a call at 843-496-9735. That's 843-496-9735. And let her know that you heard about it on the Akin Tune Show. The Wendy Mills Agency, one of our faithful sponsors and supporters at uh, WF Media Group, the Akin Tune Show, first Sundays and everything. Thank you all so much. Listen, fam, we got a good topic today. We're going to get into it. Talk about my little brother, D1. Kingdom rapper D1 and uh, D1 versus uh, Rick Ross and Meek Mills and all them guys. Yeah, it's 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 on the popping. Donna J, Pastor Lewis Tucker. Good morning to you. How y'all doing, good family? Morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Day. <clears throat> good morning. Good morning. Ah yes. Day. What a beautiful day. Yes. It really is. A beautiful yes. day in the neighborhood. A beautiful <laughs> day, day in the neighborhood. neighborhood. Would, Would you be mine? mine? Would, Would you be mine? mine? Won't you be? My neighbor. <laughs> Do you remember that on Saturday Night Live? Eddie Murphy. Oh, oh my God. God. Uh, Mr. Cla- Robinson. Oh, one of the Mr. Best Robinson. Kids ever. 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 <laughs> Maybe sometime when you're not home, I'll break <laughs> in. <laughs> and then he had that classic face. <laughs> oh, man. I'm telling you. Hold up, kid. My, hey, my, the, hey, shut up up there. Shut up. 
<laughs> yeah, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm telling you. I remember being probably, I can't remember how old I was, but I know I ain't had no business watching. My parents yeah. were asleep. Oh, yeah. oh yeah. And I'm and I'm laying in the floor in the living room watching. Yeah. And Eddie Bradford goes, can you say B? <laughs> <laughs> and he goes, he said, if you want to know if you say it right, go in there beside your mama's bed <laughs> and say B. Go ahead. Yeah. I'll wait. I'll wait. Yeah. Um, and they go, did she smack you? <laughs> you said it right. Man, I'm in the floor crying. I'm like, I ain't stupid now, bro. <laughs> we ain't doing that. We ain't yeah. doing that. Speaking of not man, doing that, that was hilarious. One of the best bits ever. Spe- speaking of not doing that, man, uh, I, 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 again, uh, he was shout out. We got a lot of stuff to get to the, today, but he was shout out to rapper D One, who has who has uh, 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 plucked the giants, some of the giants in hip hop. Had you seen that story, Pastor Tuck? Donna, I, I, Donna, I sent, I sent it to you. Did I send it to you too, Pastor Tuck? That's, yeah, I think I think so. When he when he when he was telling them about uh, something about them them. Uh, Doing better, they, doing, doing better, doing better yeah. and they were talking about they were some some somebody doing. I think he was talking about Jim Jones. Somebody they were talking about they were anti-violent or something like that. And he were he was promoting their stuff, and then yeah. found out that they were doing all this other stuff because he gave out his shoes or something like that. He's talking about Meat Mills, so you know, of course, Meat Mills, you know, famous, yeah. Saint famously right. was you know in prison and got pardoned yeah. out, yeah, and um, uh, prison reform, yeah, prison reform. So that was that that became his his platform. That he would, yeah. would utilize to 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 encourage and, and and I thought it was a positive thing. I really did. I, I didn't really have a whole lot of, of knowledge of who Meek Mills was, not for any reason, just for the fact that I, I'm just not in, you know in hip hop exactly. like that, like I used to be. Um, but I didn't really know who it was. But I mean, it, he clearly was relevant and in, in, in a topic that that should be addressed. And, right. and but again, it's the same continual repetitive thing where you got these grown men who who are who are in their thirties. 40s and 50s even right here rapping about this thug life and and, and that that's my whole thing of it's it's mad corny to be doing that when you know you're not living that and and you planting that seed and this aggressive adversarial violent culture that we promote to to our young african-american men and Mm -hmm. you you cannot deny its effect it's i mean prisons love hip-hop because hip-hop promotes negative images of African-American men. And when prisons, particularly privatized prisons, y'all, you got to understand something. If you ever want a safe investment, put it in some privatized prisons. But this is the thing. It's not even the fact that they love hip hop. They are the architects of modern day hip hop. Yeah. 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 And that's what, that's what, that's what they don't have. They don't have sense enough to even understand. They are, they are the architects of it. They they are the found they are the funders. They are the backers. They are they're the ones that are actually producing it. Do you think do you because really it think has the, an the, agenda? Do you really think that the, the, the current rappers, do you think they, they don't understand that? Some some of them don't. All, all they all they want is a deal. All they want is a chain. They they have they have got it, it, they stay so far. You know how you can go so far into it, it, matter of fact, it's just like a project mentality. Yeah. You can go so far in the projects you can't even see out. Yeah, yeah. It, is that is that when you get so for so deep into it, you can't even see how you got in. Right. Yeah. So I mean, they just they just in it. They think they winning. It's like, dude, you you don't even recognize somebody else that that, that there's there's a, there's a puppet master back here pulling the strings because you think you coming up on somebody. You think you doing something. But it, I think that, that you can you can you can say that for the younger guys. Some of these newer rappers that's out here that's coming out and, and, and oh. perpetuating the same old consistent uh, uh, music, same mindset. But these these oh. guys, my oh. age, the Fifty no, no, no. Cent, the Rick Rosses, I'm, I'm not they know better. About Rick. I'm not talking about Rick Ross and these guys. He no, know better. No, mm-hmm. no, 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 Rick, Rick, Rick Ross. I have a I have a hard time taking Rick Ross even serious. Yeah. After and I I, I can't remember the name of the the. The documentary I, sh- I I told you about I don't know if you ever saw it or not but when when Trick Trick told that story about Rick Ross coming to Detroit and he had Rick Rick, Rick Ross scared to get off the tour bus. Wow, <laughs> wow. Do wow. you think when, that when, they know they have a responsibility to the community and are just ignoring it, or are they um, putting out this music and then in the, on the backside, um, like I was uh, saying to Aqua on the backside, they are doing things 
in the community, like helping with, um, they said, buying tricycles and bicycles and giving money and buying pampers for people. No, no, those are gestures. Those are gestures, Donna, right. at best. Don, mm-hmm. Donna, Donna, that's yep. called PR. Right. Yeah, that's what that is. That's yeah. called PR. Mm-hmm. This, this is all selfish. Yeah. This, 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 there, there's nothing. There's nothing that they're doing out of an altruistic thing. Yeah. At this point, you you when you if you ever look at the the specials they do when Rick Ross show you his house and that joker got 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 as the old folks said sixty eleven cars in the driveway. Yeah. yeah. Come on. All and, what, and all what, that what stuff. A, what is a turkey and a tricycle to you? And all that stuff like that. And, and guess what? And, and, and here's the thing of it. The other side of it too is a lot of that stuff is debt. And a lot of that stuff is stuff that you got to keep up and you got to make and you got to keep up payments on. And then what happens is, is it, it, it all depends on what allows you to sleep at night. Would it would allow you to, to sleep at night to have to liquidate some stuff? Be, and what, or would, it, would you rather liquidate some of your some of your soul? Would you rather give up a little piece of, 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 of who you say you are? And, and give it and give the, the community and your brand over to these alcohol companies. Like, for example, like uh, Nas last year, Nas came out with had a new album. out Again, uh, uh, I'm, I, I had huge respect for Nas back in the day. I'm talking about pre shiny suit, suit Nas era. Uh. Nas veered off into the shiny suit era phase as well. But then he seemed to come back after a while. And then he came out with a new album. And the very first thing that you see in the album in, in, in the music video is a young young lady in her early 20s. With a, with a thong going with her behind out. And then right behind that, liquor. And I'm like, mm. bruh, come on, man. We in our 50s now. We, you, th- th- this, is, this is your daughter. Mm-hmm. This is your daughter. It may not be your actual daughter, but this is your daughter that you're putting out there for what? And then, and then following up the, the image of a naked woman right behind that with alcohol? And then again, even even Ice Cube came out, uh, and folks came out came for me on Facebook about that. But but Ice Cube putting out another one of these 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 gun gun shoot shoot. I, I'm gonna do this. I'm this. I'm that. Right. Ice Cube, you you are have a production company. You have earned about a billion dollars in box Bruh. office. Bruh. You are so so far from a thug. <clears throat> <laughs> and I and I love Cube. Mm-hmm. I love Cube. Like I said, grew up on Cube. All that kind of stuff. Me and Cube go back way back. But it's like, bro, after you did, are we there yet? You can't. You can't come back with no thug album with me. Can't come back. Uh, yeah. can't, 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 do can't, can't, can't do that. Can't do that. Lost his thug point. Guess what? I mean, I'm, just, a, I'm just saying. But, but here's the thing. You, you can't. You can't do that. Ice yeah. Cube was never a thug, y'all. Mm-hmm. We know Ice that. Cube came from the suburbs. Two, say, two parent household. Mom and daddy got good jobs. He made a deal with his mama, with his parents, that he if he, he could take a year before going off to college mm-hmm. and try this rap thing out and blew up. Mm-hmm. Ice Cube ain't no thug. He got a thug exterior and he's an amazing lyricist, but he's never been a gangster. He's never been whatever Crip blood, whatever. I don't know who he rep, but he's never been none of that. Mm-hmm. And, and, and let's be clear. I don't I don't think Ice Cube ever uh, tried to say he was a banger. No, but and, and, and this is the thing, because a lot of these guys, they, they give you that tough exterior because even even as a suburb kid hanging in those areas, you got to have a, you got to have some kind of exterior. Mm-hmm. You know, what I'm saying? you got to You got you got to have some 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 some. You know, what I'm saying you you got you got to have some thug to you. But so like you, you say, you got to you got to fake it. No, you ain't got to fake it, but you you got to be hard. I mean, you got you can't even go over there and hang with these and them. You can't fight. You follow what I'm saying? So just the fact that he grew up in a two parent household, you know what I'm saying, and 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 was not living in that in that environment. If he hung in that environment, he had to become hardened enough to be in that environment because everybody you couldn't even walk down the street in that in those areas. You follow me? Mm-hmm. So so is we ain't trying to say Ice Cube soft. Mm-hmm. No, but the fact of the matter yeah. is, don't sit there and try to glorify a life that you ain't still living. Because mm-hmm. even in that, that's 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 the whole thing about it. Mm-hmm. But, but because so many people don't even get that. But soft doesn't mean just because you you don't have any quote unquote street credibility doesn't mean that you're soft. No, uh, you know what I'm saying. That, no, I'm, what just I'm saying. saying it, I'm just saying from a street from a street perspective. Because some right. from a street perspective, some folk won't even walk down some of these streets. Right. right. I mean, see, it's it's amazing to me because I remember, I remember a time when the 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 cats would call you out because they knew you wasn't. It's like, hey man, ain't, ain't you miss uh 
ain't you Miss uh Miss Mary's son? <laughs> hey man, bro, you need to get from around here, bro. Don't ever let me catch you over here again. You understand? you feel mm-hmm. me, bro? Ain't you, man, ain't you going to college, bro? Mm-hmm. Man, get on from around here. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying, player? Mm-hmm. And and you know, all right, all right, bro. Real talk. Yeah. No, 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 for real. Like, and and, and I mean, mm-hmm. because folks know you you wasn't about this life. Right. Now today, I never forget this video. I talked about it some time ago, but I never forget this little kid who who Elijah showed me rapping on the rooftop. And he was rapping on the rooftop, and then the rooftop he was rapping on, he had climbed out of his window. Man, this dude, this this kid rapping what's on it, a it, six thousand square foot rooftop. They, 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 they opened up the scene too far. Let you see the neighborhood. Right, right. He, I'm like, dude, dude, dude. That's a dude. That's a that's a five hundred, six hundred thousand dollar house you rapping on up on, sir, sir. Cut it out. And you and and you in high school already. You so I know you ain't you living with your parents. You ain't you ain't living this life. Cut it out. Stop faking the funk. And I'm like, man, what? But why? And, and so so again, let's let's play the clip because we got we got a lot to get to today. Let's play this clip. So this is D one. This is D one calling out Rick Ross. And let me tell you, I'll tell you after we play the clip why it's stuck because this is not the first time he said this. There's several people. That has have called out these major rappers. Uh, of course, one of the most famous one was recently was uh, 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 my man uh, 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 Arrested Development um, speech. Speech. Speech called them out a couple of years ago, and they came for speech. But 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 I think this is a little bit different, and I'll tell you why. Go ahead and run that clip, Jaleel. Jim, Jim Jones, Jones, you could, you could do, do better, better, brother. brother. I, love I love you too much. much. I, love I love you too much, much to not be honest, honest with you. Rick Ross, you, you, you could, could do better, better brother. Me, Mill, you, you could, could do better, brother. brother. I, love I love you too much, much not to be honest, honest with you. you. Are, are you, you the face, face of prison, prison reform? reform? Cause, Cause I, I have, uh, are, are you the face, face of prison, prison reform? Or are you sitting here on your new song, Ross, talking about getting somebody murked and shot at the red light? Which one is it, bro? Which one is it, bro? Cause, Cause I did a, I did a shoe, shoe giveaway, giveaway in, in my city, city and gave out thirteen hundred pairs of your shoes. shoes Cause they, they said reform, reform underneath them, them. And, and I loved it. it. You, you partnered, partnered it with, with a major, major shoe company, company and, and you, you out, out here pushing, pushing prison, prison reform. reform. But, but now, now I gotta, I gotta sit here like, like man, this man, man glorifying getting, getting people killed as a week ago. Like what are you doing, bro? Little Snoop really got killed. That broke your heart. You wear him around your neck. Why are you glorifying the same thing when my best friend got killed? When, when Carl, Carl got, got killed, killed, New Orleans know who I'm talking, talking about. When Carl, when Carl got, got killed, killed and, and I had, had to go to, go to his funeral, funeral and redo the eulogy and, and be part of the funeral. funeral. And, and I, I got, got back in my car sway after, after the funeral, funeral and, and I turned, turned on my music and I realized, and I realized I'm, I'm listening, listening to music, music that's glorifying the same, same stuff that just happened to my best friend. It gave me chills. And I needed that moment. That was my come to Jesus moment of like, D, you got to do something different, brother, because you have a taste for this poison. But, but you, you're, you're attracted, attracted to the, to the poison. poison. And, and rap, rap is great. great. The rap, rap game, game hip-hop hip industry, industry is great, great at, at cooking, cooking up some, some delicious poison. poison. So, yeah. so that's him on Sway in the Morning. Mm-hmm. And that's the reason why it solicited the response that it got from Rick Ross. Mm-hmm. See, it's not just that hit dog or holler. But it's also platforms. This is why. This is yeah, why. Let me. Let me. He was on sway. He was on <laughs> yeah, sway. Let, but let me soapbox for a minute, if you will allow me to. This is why the body of Christ has to understand the power of media, mm-hmm. the power of of, of reach. And, and and guess what? Numbers are not everything, but numbers don't lie. And when you have numbers, and when you have reach, it communicates something to people in power. It calls it. It, ca- it calls it calls its people to come out of their shit, out of their comfort zone. So maybe if he was just on the uh, the Ox show saying that with our audience, which is still growing, maybe Rick Ross wouldn't have come out. But the fact right. that he was on Sway in the Morning, which is streaming on Sirius XM, it has a huge YouTube footprint that's even larger than the Sirius XM footprint. It caused him to have to respond. And this was his response. Mick Mill, you could do better. Jim Jones, you could do better. Rick Ball, you could do better. I got to see you do better. Wait, wait. wait. Look, Look, man, whoever, whoever you, you is, is until you feed the kids, kids. Wait, where wait, you from, from for 20, 20 years, years straight, straight. Don't, don't question, question your Rosé. Wait, wait. 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 Until, until you, you buy 10,000 10, bikes, 10,000 10, trikes. Give, give all the young, young girls who spray in the apples for Christmas for 20 years straight. straight. Don't, don't question your boss. You heard me, little man? Get, get that, that basket, basket off your head, head so you could think, think little, little man. man. You going viral for some speaking things. Not because of your talent. Not because of your gift. Go viral, player. Off of your business that you're sharing. 
You speak no good. You make me feel. You just wait on me. I just saw the destruction. It's damn right now. Don't make me see it. Get that basket off your head, boy. Come and get the real on the world. So when you blow my money, you kick. Since you wanna go viral, I'ma I'm show, show you how to go viral, little man. man. Go, go viral, viral. feed them kids, kids in your hood. Go, go viral, viral Christmas time. time. Don't be damn. Your Jones just gave away goddamn six, six figures, figures worth of clothes in his hood. Who talking? Look, look, look at you know, know you eat more goddamn, 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 goddamn pickle wiggly, wiggly, wiggly bacon than any other here. Shut up. Yeah, yeah, that was. That was a clear, clear confirmation that everything that G1 said that, that, was true. That, yeah. that was clear confirmation yeah. that Rick Ross need hooks on phonics. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what, too? I, that's, I what, was, that's what that was confirmation of. I was saying this when I was listening to that, mm -hmm. that he attacked him for his appearance. Yep. He attacked him for, you know, like, oh, your grandmother, when she need a kidney, uh, come and do what we do. You know, yeah. you, he, he never said that what he what that young man was saying was false. Right. He could he not attack him on the merit. He could not attack him on the merit. You he, can't. He you can't because you, you, you're appearance. defending yourself. You're not right. defending. You're not defending your point. Right. Exactly. And I was like, man, you're not even in, you're talking about going viral. He went viral because his point was legitimate. Right. Right. And that's why he responded yes. the way that he did. And yeah. anytime a person when a person attacks you personally. Right. For something that has nothing to do with your personal appearance or anything about you, you know, your finances or anything like that, you know, again, you know, uh, 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 uh like your daddy can't read. Yeah. You know, it's, it's, uh -huh. you, that means it's something that you said mm -hmm. that has hit me in a personal way. You hit, hit me at the core and it's now resonating and it's sticking and, and I don't have a valid I have a response. Comeback, right? I don't, I don't have a comeback. <laughs> so I'm gonna come, I'm gonna come back at you in, a, uh -huh. in another way. And again, mm -hmm. again, y'all, y'all, mm -hmm. please understand that the slave masters would give slaves leftover clothes. They mm -hmm. would give them uh, leftover materials and goods. Mm -hmm. They would give them leftover food and they would give them that so that they would be endear to, to, to inspire endearment between them. Right. And, and, and at the end of the day, y'all, they still were slaves. Mm -hmm. And, 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 and what, what black people have to recognize is these rap rappers are commoditizing you as an individual. Mm -hmm. They're commoditizing their community. They are monetizing their community the, of their community for the, for the, for the good of nobody else, but them and alcohol companies, international multi-level alcohol, companies who don't care nothing about you do you think we need another liquor in the neighborhood another a, a, a new app a new vodka nothing. a new gin let me ask you this question mm -hmm. yes sir alcohol companies privatized prison all these people that they represent right right these are billion dollar in industries right correct right. and i'm just I, I you know i'm not even gonna do no math but those are probably seven figure a month companies Right. At, right. at least probably probably nine mm -hmm. nine figures. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So 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 what's so what's six figures for me to give you to throw out in the community once a year? Right. <laughs> ooh. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Ooh. Once ooh. a year. So that, a, that's if, what I was going to say if, 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 if as a church I, if, 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 if as a church I can go down to Walmart and Walmart and give me bikes or clothes Come on. or 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 Coats, yeah, to give yeah, away, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. If I want you to be my face, yeah, what's it for me to give you six figures worth of clothes, yeah, to give out yeah. or mm -hmm. bikes to give away? I, I'm just saying, yeah, right. You, to your point, mm -hmm. listen to me, y'all. There is no easier sponsor money to obtain than liquor money. Mm. It is the easiest sponsor money you can mm -hmm. get. That's why many rappers or many promoters are able to stay afloat and live good because the liquor companies will give you samples and they'll spend mm -hmm. big money for radio. They'll spend big money for to, to sponsor your party. They'll spend big money to have the drink girls in your event walking around giving out samples. Why? Mm -hmm. Because they know once they you, you try this new liquor, this new tasty, syrupy, sweet mm -hmm. liquor that has a high alcohol content, I got you now because now you're going... That 
that money is going to multiply exponentially because you're you're going to take that and it's going to be the new thing. And then I'm just going to keep reading. I'm going to say it just like it is. Black folks, we we saw such suckers that we run out and we buy liquor and pour it out. We yeah. buy liquor, go to the club and pour it out. And it, like this is something that makes you look like you are you you got it. You you doing it. You killing it. Mm-hmm. It's it I mean that is such sucker stuff. Money that you could be spending on your kids, you go and buy liquor. And I'm talking about I, listen y'all, some of these lick these bottles, two, three, four, five, six hundred dollars. I'm not even talking about the high end stuff, like, right. but I'm talking about some of the mid level stuff. Some people buy three, four hundred dollar bottles of liquor and put it in a box and don't even open it. Mm-hmm. This is ignorance on steroids. Well, see, this, this is the thing, and God showed me this years ago. All is going down the toilet anyhow. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> That's it. Y'all, when we come back, in and out. <laughs> we gonna come out. I'm gonna get y'all comments, and uh, and we are gonna get y'all into some of these other topics. For that new my church channel, uh, <laughs> community wine <laughs> coming near you, coming to a church near you. Uh. <laughs> you know the endorsements is coming. The endorsements is coming. My church community wine. <laughs> <My church. laughs> Stay right there, family. We will be right back with more. This is the Opportunity <laughs> Show. Do me a favor. Share this on Facebook, share this on Clubhouse, share this on YouTube, wherever you're watching it, do me a favor, share and let folks know where we are. This is The Ox Show. One of the best stories that I have in satisfying one of our clients happened just recently. Uh, we had a young lady that was doing did a family reunion for, and then they came back and placed a reorder. Now, when they placed the reorder, we could not get everything done in time. Well, we had to pull a lot of strings, make some things happen, work a little bit late, but it worked out where we were able to get the t-shirts printed and out for delivery. That's the things that we do for our clients, and we want to do that for you as well. It's easy to become frustrated when ordering branded products and apparel, but PNB Promotionals is here to help ease those frustrations with their over 800,000 promotional products and apparel. Whether screen printed t-shirts, embroidered polo shirts, stadium cups, umbrellas, or mugs, PNB Promotionals has just what you need. Log on to pbpromotionals.com and start your order now. That's pbpromotionals.com. Or send an email to info at pbpromotionals.net. Info at pbpromotionals.net. Imprinting the best for less. P&B Promotionals. At my church, we help people get better by teaching them how the word works. And we want to make sure there is no excuse not to get the word. It's our goal to make all of our ministries accessible on every smartphone, tablet, PC, and television connected to the internet. So whether you're a man who needs some wisdom, a woman who needs some encouragement, or a couple who needs guidance, the My Church channel has just what you need. Simply search for the My Church channel on Roku, Fire Stick, or Apple TV, or visit mychurchchannel.org. You can also download the My Church On The Go app from Apple, or Google Play App Store. Constantly on the move? Check out the Word at My Church podcast on your favorite podcast platform. Or simply download the Word at My Church skill on your Alexa-enabled device. But whatever you do, make sure to stay connected. See you soon. The Akin Tune Day Show. Say what? Say what? You heard what I said? That's right, y'all. The, the, the Akin Tune Day Show. Smell it. A K I N uh, 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 Tune Day. Oh uh, yeah. Y'all heard it. Looking for promotional products and apparel? Look no further than P and B Promotionals. Place your brand and logo on just about anything with P and B Promotionals. Over eight hundred thousand products. Hats. Mugs, backpacks, bottles, cups, drinking glasses, lip balm, chewing gum, candy, and of course, t-shirts. PNB Promotionals is a nationally certified advertising institution. Log on to pbpromotionals.com and start your order now. pbpromotionals.com. Imprinting the best for less. PNB Promotionals. All right, family. 
Do me a favor, share the room. You know, we, we're in our new new uh, space on Clubhouse. So we want to make sure everybody knows where we are now. And, of course, we're here on, on Facebook and on YouTube. Again, I can't say enough. Thank you to everyone who has been um, watching, taking advantage of, engaging, commenting, sharing, liking, loving the, uh, the, the clips from the Ox Show. Our shorts are up. The views for our shorts are up uh, exponentially, just multiplied. And I, and I, I thank y'all so much for sharing that and, and uh, uh, getting the word out and uh, taking advantage of it. We, we, we have having great success. Our numbers are up, like, extremely high and it's, and, and it's hugely valuable. The game has changed in terms of uh, where you earn money in media, and uh, we're adjusting to it. So y'all pray for us. Support us if you can. Uh, you can always make a donation to Comedian I Can Tune Day, um, you, to uh, Producer I Can Tune Day on Clubhouse. Producer I Can Tune Day on Clubhouse. You can also always get your advertising packages. We have some new advertising packages, some sales that are coming up uh, that will be running through from from now until the end of the year that allow you to take advantage of the uh, our advertising and some of the, some new campaigns we'll be running through Facebook and even through YouTube. All right, so if you want to get more information about that, give us a call at 803 803- 738-6604 that's 803-738-6604 or you can always call us at 1-800-280-0094 that's 1-800-280-0094 to get more information all right we're wrapping this conversation again uh again huge shout out to my man d1 uh well done yeah, sir and good. um and, and i want to talk about i want I, I got some i pulled up some 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 rick ross lyric lyrics um from social and um, I think it's it 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 um, it, uh, it, uh, it 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 really allows you to uh, have context, huh? Okay, all right, hold on, y'all. Okay, there we go. Are we are we good yeah. now? There we go. Yeah, we're good. Okay, all right. All right. Excuse me, y'all. Something we had. Some hey, uh, OG uh, Rodney Perry is in the building. Rodney Perry in the building. Rodney. RP is yeah, in the house. Rodney. What's up, Rodney? Mm-hmm. How you doing, Rodney. sir? Rodney Perry, of course, will be featured on the uh, upcoming Healthy Laughter comedy special coming to, to Stella TV. Um, uh, looking real, we're looking forward to that. Uh, Rodney, definitely. If you got any thoughts on this this topic, and then we also be talking about aging gracefully in just a little bit, and uh, asking the ladies a question: Would you consider dating an older man? <laughs> <laughs> uh, significantly older, yeah. <laughs> um, I, here's a li- here's a, here's some lyrics. Um, um, this is this is Rick Ross. Now Rick Ross is I think Rick Ross was born in seventy two, so I mean he's about a year younger than Pat Tucker myself. Okay, yeah. I mean about- this this is a fifty one year old man. Okay, all right. Uh, I, I I I say that for context. Okay, so this is this is this is a fifty one year old. College graduate who uses a a name that's not his. Wow. <laughs> this is not his name. Rick Ross's name is not Rick Ross. I can guarantee you on his mortgage, it does not say Rick Ross. I can guarantee you that. I don't know for sure. Okay. But I can I can I, I would I would put good money on it. No, his mortgage says Ricky Rose. <laughs> <laughs> I guarantee it don't say that neither. I guess whatever his real name is, somebody, somebody Google and tell me what Rick Ross' real name is. You know, is, is real name is Clarence. Okay. <laughs> Clarence Howard, uh, Clarence Green, uh, Greg Davis. That's probably you know, probably a nice, subtle, suburban, yep. uh, a good grown man name like that. Mm-hmm. Um, but here's some lyrics from uh, uh, Rick Ross. Every day I'm hustling. Um, every day I'm. Every day I'm. Every day I'm. Every day I'm hustling. Who the F you think you effing with? I'm the effing boss. 74, four, 745, white on white, that's effing Ross. I cut them wide, I cut them long, I cut them fat. What? I keep them coming back. We keep them coming back. I'm in the distribution. I'm like Atlantic. I got them MFs flying across the Atlantic. I know Pablo, no Riega, the real no Riega. He owe me a hundred favors. Church. I ain't I ain't petty in we buy the whole thing. We must we most of my ends really still deal cocaine. My roof back, my money right, my money right. I'm on the pedal, show you what I'm running. Like when they snatch back black, I cry a hundred nights. 
he got a hundred bodies serving a hundred lives. Okay. That yes. was wait, that was from uh William Leonard Roberts the <laughs> second. Yes. Billy Billy Roberts. Billy Bob. Billy Bob. Hey, look look here, Leonard. <laughs> That's from Billy Bob. <laughs> William, <laughs> William <laughs> Leonard Roberts the <laughs> second. Look here, Leonard. Let's say ah, word, Leonard. Ah, nothing not wrong being William Leonard Roberts. Nothing, that's a, that's a great Bob. name. That's he an amazing name. Billy Bob. Look here, Leonard. Let's have a word. <laughs> that's an amazing name. Let's have a word with you, Leonard. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the whole thing. Pablo. Uh-huh. Noriega. Why are you promoting Colombian drug lords? Wow. Hey, why why are you saying about, these guys he, owe you maybe favors? He's talk, maybe he's talking about Noriega, the rapper. <laughs> Why are you saying you hang with dudes who still cocaine who still serve cocaine? Why are why would you promote that to nine, ten, fourteen year old school mm-hmm. kids? I, we right across the street from Alcorn Middle School. Why right. are you promoting that to them? Mm-hmm. These young boys don't need to hear that. They, he you you a college graduate, man. You graduated from Albany State University. So if you're born in seventy six, that means you you about five years younger. Then Pastor Tuck and myself, which mm-hmm. would put you at about in your late 40s. That mean, what are you, 47? 48? My brother Khalid is 40, 40, yeah, 47. Yeah, you're 47 years mm-hmm. old. 47 about to turn 48. Man, you too old for this, sir. Mm-hmm. And you, that's irresponsible. So you can't you can't dress that up. You can't come back at D1 and say, oh, yeah, because I give this to the community. I give uh, 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 sneakers to the community. I give turkeys out at Christmas time. That somehow excuses what I did. Nino Brown did that. <laughs> Nino Brown did that. Are you your brother's keeper? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, let's just be real about it. So, so again, no need to beat it. We we already know what the position is. Hopefully, it, that that uh, this this yields, and, and and I hope more people start calling these rappers out. Mm-hmm. More people, more people in the community start calling these rappers out for 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 faking it, for putting out content that's not not consistent with who you really are. Tell these guys how you had to get your SAT score up. To whatever level you needed to get it to to get get to get uh, accepted at, to Albany State University. Talk about that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Talk he, about graduating. He, he, didn't fin- he, he, he didn't. He didn't finish. He didn't finish. I thought he finished. No, no, he didn't complete a degree. Okay, all right. He still. What it says a- after leaving school, he joined law enforcement, serving as a correctional officer. Yeah, he did that. That's, I got. I've seen the pictures mm-hmm. for that. Now you want to talk about shock? When I when I, I would I would go into the schools and I would take they put that correction officer picture up with Rick Ross with no beard, uh, mm-hmm. a, a clean face, mm-hmm. young young man correction officer. They be like they, the kids be like, oh. I'm like yeah, yeah. Then I would tell them that Fifty Cent don't even drink. Mm-hmm. Fifty Cent is one of the most health conscious people in the world. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I should say in the world. That's an overstatement. He's a very health conscious man. And he, he he took that name too from a real gangster, Fifty Cent. Wow. Wow. He took that name from, from the real 50 Cent. He said he would be on stage. Mm-hmm. Now, he says, you go find this on YouTube. He said he would be on stage with a bottle of Hennessy with sweet tea in it. <laughs> you have to ask yourself, why are these men promoting alcohol? Why are you faking that? Why not say, I don't drink? Mm-hmm. 50 Cent has never smoked weed. Mm-mm-mm. This is again. Go look on YouTube. There's a whole. He got a whole book talking about it. He never smoked weed. He would be around people like, like he said. I probably got a contact high at some point. Mm-hmm. So from being around people like Snoop and whatever. But he said he, he never smoked weed. That was never his thing. But why are you promoting that to young people? Mean green. Wow. But see how backwards have we gotten as a culture where you where that's accepted. Mm-hmm. It's better for me to be a, a drug kingpin. On records mm-hmm. than to be a, a a a college student. Right. That's crazy. That's crazy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, man. What's the? I, you know, I hadn't talked to the room today. Shout out to the room. Mm-hmm. Do me a favor, fam. Everybody in the room, share the room. Let folks know where we are. Um, <laughs> oh, that's Kimberly Morgan with that that research done. That that, that William Leonard Roberts. Or, or, <laughs> where, y'all, where y'all find? Where y'all find it out? Uh, I just went on uh, uh, Google. Yeah, yeah. Her, her and Mocha Tosses. Hilarious. Wow. Um, Mocha Tosser said 50 Cent, if you ever meet him, or at least when he was rapping, mm-hmm. he was the most polite, respectful person you could yep. meet. It was crazy. Wow. I will say that he came through the airport and he was very, very, people just kept talking about how 
he was so nice mm. and he was, you know, just a gentleman and he just How you doing, Curtis? really nice. <laughs> uh-huh. You know. And you know, so that it's all persona. All persona. So, you need to call about a government. Mm. Wow. Hey Curtis. Curtis. Wow. Mm. Hey, um, on uh, Facebook, uh, Pinky Johnson, hey, sister, said, um, Pinky? yes, shout out to the veterans today. Thank you for your service. Yeah. Uh, she was saying, uh, Mary Motley said, happy Veterans Day. So, and uh, Pinky also said, that ain't Pinky's family. government. <laughs> wow. See, P- see, Pinky out here running on the persona. That ain't her government. Wow. <laughs> That's not her government. Listen, uh, sh- huge shout out to all the veterans, and uh, we thank y'all for your service. I, you know, yeah, her, I, for her some reason, is a veteran. I, yeah. it, okay, I, and I never know for some reason. I never know Presidents Day, mm-hmm. Veterans Day. It's like I find out either that day or I find out that it passed. Mm-hmm. It's, it's crazy, uh, man. Listen, we got some other topics to get to, so I definitely want to make sure we got enough room for that. Um, these other topics, um, one of which is this whole bus driver. Debacle that we're dealing with right now. Oh boy! And uh, D- uh, Donna brought it to my attention. I I had no idea what was going on. I did know. I shouldn't say I had no idea. I did know that there was a shortage, and that they were. T- it was a, becoming an issue that folks were discussing. Mm-hmm. But I didn't know to what level, how just how bad the uh, the number had gotten to in mm-hmm. terms of bus drivers. And uh, man, so Donna, go go, go ahead, get, enlighten us on that because well, again, I was clueless. Well, you know, it, it, this all started from my daughter has a nine-year-old son mm-hmm. and a one-year-old. So the nine-year-old goes to, uh, he's in the fourth grade. Mm-hmm. So he got on the bus one day and he said it was a bunch of high schoolers on there. Mm. And he's in the fourth grade. So you have fourth grade. And my sister, wow. uh, my daughter was very concerned right. that he there's high schoolers and um, middle schoolers and wow. elementary kids all on the same bus. Wow! And it, it's such a concern because you you know you fear for your child's safety because oh, yeah. they're going to fight. And, yeah, you know, cut up on the bus. Right. Well, um, that's how we I started looking into the national um, bus driver epidemic because it there is such a, a deficiency in mm-hmm. the bus drive the numbers of bus drivers mm. and so there was a survey there's a survey company called hop uh hop skip drive hop skip hop drive. skip drive wow. their national survey okay. company and they said at this point 92 percent of school districts and transport um uh companies report uh, reported lack of drivers. Ninety-two percent. Ninety-two percent national nationwide wow. Wow. are reporting these um, deficiencies in the uh, transportation for uh, buses in districts and the transportation companies themselves. Mm. So, in two years ago, just two years ago, it was seventy-eight percent. So, it has increased wow. exponentially almost. So, um, they said this has been an ongoing problem for ten years. Now, when you send your child to school mm-hmm. in the morning, mm-hmm. especially if you're uh, on the bus, because half of the country's uh, system, uh, uh, half of the country's school children, mm-hmm. they rely on public transportation right, for the right, buses. Right, you know, right. uh, school buses. Right. So when they get on the bus, you're putting your your um, little elementary, you know, first grade or second grade or yeah. whatever on the bus with high schoolers and whatnot. Yeah. It's it, it, that's just a dangerous, volatile situation. Oh yeah. Yeah. You know. Yeah. So and then the little kids, they don't know. Right. You know. Right. So they have. Uh, they were saying the reason that there is such a huge shortage of bus drivers. Um, they said it was COVID, low pay, mm-hmm. and very low to no benefits. Okay. I'd also like to throw in one of them, uh, something else with that. How about the safety of the bus driver, for one thing? The safety of the children. The the bus drivers today, there's so much going on behind them. Right. That... Uh, and the disrespect. Oh my God! Let me, let of me. the of the kids who think they are entitled. Let me jump it's in right crazy. there. The it's crazy. That's the that's the part for me. Mm-hmm. Bus drivers, like teachers, mm-hmm. are one of those professions that is drastically underpaid. Right. Undervalued. 
You 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 talking about some people who you send your you put your children's lives in the hands of bus drivers mm -hmm. every day, twice a day, mm -hmm. to bring them to and from home. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. teachers are with our children eight hours a day mm -hmm. and and more, mm -hmm. and we do not pay them the respect mm -hmm. or the money mm -hmm. or the give mm -hmm. them the resources that they need That's to it. take care of our children mm -hmm. properly and then they're so there's so many things that have these, these these teachers and bus drivers and other professionals that have them tied up their hands are tied mm -hmm. they can't discipline if they discipline mm -hmm. you, you, i mean it, there's 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 extreme repercussions for that and i'm not talking about you teachers should be sp uh, spanking your kids but there's so many things mm -hmm. that they can't do anymore That's and right. guess what the kids know that mm -hmm. the same thing with the bus drivers mm -hmm. the kids know that and 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 uh, Pastor Tuck said the best the other day. Mm -hmm. Said you you right you got all these people with, with your back to these 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 little disrespectful right? jokes, <laughs> throwing stuff at you, and and then and then the, the parents. Let's talk about the parents. Mm -hmm. My mm -hmm. God, pa oh my so, so, let me tell y'all something. Let me tell y'all something. Some of y'all parents, man, I'm gonna say it. Get mad at me. Get mad at me if you want. Some of y'all parents, y'all need to be put on. Uh, punishment y'all need to be ex expelled y'all need to be suspended y'all need somebody to whoop mm -hmm. your behind mm -hmm. said just like i i wanted to say it because <laughs> you yeah. the, the way y'all act towards professionals uh, education professionals mm -hmm. i'm mean, going up to schools and not even taking into consideration that your child might be wrong mm -hmm. cussing them out mm -hmm. play that play and run that video jaleel from that from that bus driver getting accosted uh by one of the parents Back to you. I'm sorry for laughing, yo. Dick. But it was like the lady was like, I tell you what, you smack me, you won't get your kid. <laughs> she took those kids. <laughs> it took me that long. Like, at first, I couldn't understand what was happening. <laughs> and then I was like, when the kid was screaming, I was like, oh snap. Oh, she dude. just kidnapped her kid. <laughs> she was like, I tell you what, I tell you what. She better than me. Cause it, it, you, you'd hit me, y'all. Y'all would have caught me on that light. I would. I would have drove straight back to the bus depot. I, I'm oh, like, oh, oh my god. I'm sorry. I was like, I was like, she was Ooh. like, I tell you what. Yeah. I'll keep this little joke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I got y'all. You gonna hit me? Yeah. Uh -huh. Let me let me just say this right here. Oh, I know somebody gonna like oh, this right god. here. Uh -huh. Let me just say this right here. Let me just say this. Don't get mad at me. But, but if you at the bus stop with a bonnet on, you already defeated in life. Oh my God! Jesus, you ain't ready to defeat it. You had to bust out with a bonnet on. Myself, yeah. I'm trying to compose myself. Yeah. Yeah. You, 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 had, you, if you, if you in the office at school with a bonnet on, that's, you screaming that. defeat, mm -hmm. defeat. Oh I'm giving God. up. Mm. I'm oh giving up. God. Oh my, giving up. oh my God! She was going out I'm later on tonight. No, she, night. Hold on. Hot when God, she picked her kid, pick the kids up, she was going out later on that night. So I got had some serious stuff I wanted to say. You just lost me with that video. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That was that, something. Like, though. Blame Donna. That's Donna. 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 <laughs> I'm like, yeah. <laughs> but no, Ooh, listen. At first, I'm think I'm thinking we about to see a fight. I'm thinking we about to see something pop off. Yeah. That lady was like, I tell you what. I tell. You. <laughs> <laughs> And the kid like, ah! <laughs> like <laughs> I'm like, mommy! nope, oh. you can't have your mommy now. <laughs> <laughs> back to school, kids. Right. <laughs> You're going back for a whole nother day. Sit <laughs> down. <Right. laughs> oh my God. I was like, what just happened here? I, I, yes. Again, listen, am that I saying- 
kids climbing out the window. I'm like, what yeah. is no, going the on parents, here? The parents oh, pulling please. the kids out the window. Because That's the, what I'm like. Yep. What is mm-hmm. going on here? Mm-hmm. I'm like, she like, nope, not today. Not today. But somebody <laughs> went in front of the bus. Somebody drove their van. If you look at the last part of that, somebody drove their maneuver. SUV in front of the bus yeah. so that she couldn't move. And then they're getting their kids out of the window and the back of the bus. But that's because yeah, that, the bus driver wow. did the, that bus driver should have did a rolling stop. She have pulled up to that bus stop. Once you once you see no cars going, you mm-hmm. pull right around that corner. I wouldn't have gave none of them time enough nope. to catch no, me. No, no, I, we no. we going the me. wrong direction. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm about. Ooh, I'm about to take y'all on a journey. Y'all, <laughs> y'all got it, it, it would have been, been like an OJ chase. Yeah, I, 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 I would have freeway. <laughs> I'd have drove to the bus depot and called the police on the way. I, I, yep. I listen. I, I, I got, I got a whole got dog on train of cars behind me. Okay, and they, and they mad. They are angry. One of them has a paint bonnet on, and and, <laughs> and, and I'm very oh scared my for my life. Uh-huh. Please help me. Please but help me. Oh my god! The yeah. bus driver now. <laughs> That is, you know, Kevin there was Morgan no reason we, for that. Fuzzy slippers and PJ pants. <laughs> 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 I mean, but, but how do we get to this point? Yeah. Oh my God. How do we get to this point oh in culture God. and in life, in our communities, where this is acceptable? And, here's, mm-hmm. and bad Lord, parental is behavior is all, it's rampant. It, it's at all Everywhere. levels. It is, it, it is in all, in all, mm-hmm. all colors, all races, all cultures, mm-hmm. all neighborhoods, all right. classes. Bad parental behavior. Mm-hmm. Whether man, you coaches in the classrooms, mm-hmm. on the, at the bus. Mm-hmm. I mean, come on, I'm man. I'm going to say this. I'm going to say this. Mm-hmm. And, this, and, this, and this, this is real talk. I think everybody needs to consider this at this point in time. If it's in your wheelhouse, if it's in your ability, because in this age where so many people are working from home, mm-hmm. you might want to consider homeschooling your kids. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. the the school system is in trouble. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Really? Mm-hmm. They're, they're not, they're not paying them. Mm-hmm. Nope. There is no the the safety of your kids. Right. Especially if you're a believer. You got to recognize this. One one of the reasons you talk about the lack of drivers. My kids have never ridden the school bus. Mm-hmm. Mm. And one of the reasons why is because I know 40 years ago, the things that took place when I rode the school oh, bus. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Yep. oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I knew, I knew what the school bus was. The school bus was nothing but debauchery back then. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's where I learned most of my bad behavior mm-hmm. on the school bus. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, from the older kids. Because now you talk about the older kids and the younger kids being on the same bus. That's how right. it was when we grew up. Oh, was it? Mm-hmm. Wow. Yeah. Wow. So, so I learned everything I learned on the school bus mm. Mm. by watching all of the stuff that, and, and all of the stuff that took place, all of the mess that you got into. Mm. Oh yeah. Whether it was with girls, oh, yeah. whether it was mm. whether it was gambling. I mean, all, all of the stuff you did, you did on the school bus mm-hmm. on the way to school. Mm-hmm. Wow. And wow. so it's like, why would you want to put your innocent children in that environment? Because mm-hmm. it's unsupervised. It. You, it, they, they, they're in an unsupervised environment. Yeah, mm-hmm. You're bringing kids that come from bad environments all together mm-hmm. with your kids who come from a nice environment. You, you say, okay, I've raised my kids. They know what's right. They know what's wrong. But you put them in an environment with kids that come from no structure. Mm-hmm. And now they got a 30, 40 minute window of no supervision because that driver has to keep that Huge bus on the road. Yeah. It's longer than so that. So they're looking master. forward. They're not paying attention. It's longer than so, that. Yeah. What? And that's why I said all depends on how long they ride is, but yep. you think about it. They, they have up to an hour mm-hmm. unsupervised mm-hmm. with these crazy kids. Mm-hmm. And so now mm-hmm. they go to school and now they're in a, now they're in the classroom mm-hmm. and the teacher's in there defeated, trying to teach mm-hmm. uh, once again with these same kids. Mm-hmm. And so then your kids come home and you're like, where they get that from? Where you think they got it from? You put them in an environment to be influenced by stuff that you didn't want them influenced at, at their most influential age. And let me, let me expand that a little bit too. Mm-hmm. There's also this, this the kids who were raised right and then who do wrong because they're exposed to all kinds of things in culture mm-hmm. that have now shaped their behaviors and then they get into an environment that celebrates, breaks, and promotes that type of behavior. Right. So you, because now the, the thing now is, is this the suburban kid 
who who has no cause to be acting out the way that he really is. His 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 environment isn't causing him to be angry, frustrated. Oh, he, he he has some of the best circumstances that in 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 the world in terms of being prepared, having a clean home, a safe home, having what he needs for life and education. Mm-hmm. But then that kid is influenced by culture or by friends or just got a bad attitude mm-hmm. and it's acting out. And, and, and then some of those are the worst parents because some parents don't know just how their kids r- really act. That's and right. some parents have these children so entitled that they are raging entitled monsters mm-hmm. and they yeah. send them out into society mm-hmm. thinking somebody owed them something and they learn that from early age. I, I, mm-hmm. Oh, oh, if it's Josh said said this to me, mm-hmm. oh, I'm going to go home and tell my mama. Right. Oh, what? She mm-hmm. said what? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I got her. I got her tomorrow up to the school. Mm-hmm. It's, it's, it's a cycle. Exactly. It's vicious. Yeah. Yep. It's a vicious and, and you have to recognize how, how impressionable and valuable your kids are. And right. if you recognize that, and that's why I say if you, have, if you have that opportunity, because in this age, it's a whole lot different even than it was mm-hmm. 20 years ago. Yeah. With everybody being able to work, you know, with so many people being able to work from home and all these kinds of things, and there are curriculums. Like I said, the curriculums of my kids, my kids use growing up a phenomenal curriculum. Yeah, mm. and it doesn't require you to be so well versed. Well, I'm not qualified to teach my kids. The curriculum teaches your kids. Yeah, wow. yeah, <clears throat> and all, and it teaches them this. It, it makes them prepare for college, and all you got to do is make sure that you follow up with them. And keep a structured household. That's it. Right. If your household is structured, you've taught your kids Ooh. to be obedient. Ooh. You put them in this curriculum, and they will be successful in it. Listen, look, listen to what you just said, sir. Mm-hmm. You said keep a structured household. That's household, right. That's right. exactly, exactly. That's the X factor exactly. right That's there. It. Oh, 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 oh. But but see, this That's is the thing. X factor. Mm-hmm. Oh, what I'm talking about right here is you cannot take this position of lacks parenting and expect to have what you have. And that's the yeah. problem because yep. you, we, we've had this mentality, well, I'm going to send them to school mm-hmm. and then you're not happy with the product that you get back. Right. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. Right. I'm, I'm going to hold the school accountable and, that's what, and not hold myself accountable. I'm going to hold right. the exactly. teacher accountable right. and not hold my child accountable. That's I'm going to hold the exactly. coach accountable, but not hold my son accountable. Mm-hmm. It's exactly. A, but I, I, one of you the know, my wife and I say this all the time because people always look at our kids and they're like, "Oh, your kids are so." I'm like, "We didn't win the child lottery." <laughs> yeah, you gotta put that work in. Yeah, we we, we we had to put in the work mm-hmm. and do the parenting part. Mm-hmm. Yeah, one of the um, to put that of, system in place. Oh, I'm sorry, Pastor. And we had to do, and, and some of this was not easy. Some of this was inconvenient. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, Don, go ahead before we go to break. And then, um, sacrifices in order to get there. Got to get there. Go, go one ahead, Don. Of, one of the legislators, le- legislators said this. She said the teachers are scared of the school board. Mm-hmm. The school board is scared of the parents. The parents mm-hmm. are scared of the kids. And the kids aren't scared of nobody. Ain't scared of nobody. Ain't that something? Ain't that's, scared and that's and exactly I was like, it. wow. Yeah. Wow. And that's exactly it. That's it. That's yes. it. And that's, that's it. exactly it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Listen, y'all. Um, it, it, I, I don't. The question becomes, what's the fix? Because mm-hmm. this whole bus driver situation. It's getting worse. It's getting worse. You say you went from 78 or 74 mm-hmm. to 92 this year. Yeah. Yep. And, you know, also Percent? the yes. And also the pickup. I wanted to uh, um, make sure I got this in the pickup and delivery times. Oh, yeah. Pick up are so early in the morning. Could Your kid could be picked up at 5 o'clock in the morning because of the route and yeah. not have to be at school till 8. Ooh. So there, And then at the end... What, what did you just say? Yeah, you, your kid could be picked up at 5 o'clock in the morning and because of the route that they have to do, consolidating the route, mm. you're, they might not have class until 8 o'clock. Yeah. So you got three and you hours. And you turn your, your kids, kids over yes. unsupervised yeah. for three hours, three hours on a bus. On a bus. Co- but going and coming. <sighs> now, That's the, crazy. Um, so parents, some of the kids were getting home late into the night. They were getting home. And the parents are like, what is going on? But because of the uh, root consolidations and the they have... You know, some parents have no choice. They have no choice. Well, well, well the school system mm-hmm. has no choice in many mm-hmm. in many ways. Yep. This see what it is is these are fruits. 
the, the, this is a harvest of of, of a structure and That's a system right. and a That's lot right. of bad decisions bad decisions over years. We don't yeah. just arrive here. But it, but here's the whole yeah. thing. It's not it's not any one element as the full source of the problem. Right. It's the structurally there's an issue. Right. There's a, there's a there's a structural problem here mm-hmm. and that that that's not being addressed mm-hmm. that we're not talking about. That's right. Let's keep this conversation going yep. then we got some more things. We still okay. talk about aging gracefully y'all. Mm-hmm. We're going to get to that too. Hey family, this listen, call your mama, call your daddy, call your auntie and your uncle and let them know that Donna, Pastor Tuck and Ock are talking about this topic right here. Don't yeah. y'all move. Hello, my name is Dr. Damon Daniels with Pathways to Wellness, a division of Wellspring Family Medicine. We're excited to be partnering with the Healthy Laughter Comedy Series. Our vision at Wellspring Family Medicine is to bring you the most up-to-date, cutting-edge medical tests to help you optimize your health. For instance, we have a pain-free, simple tool that takes 20 minutes to help you understand your heart disease risk. In addition, we'll be offering online courses to help you manage your diabetes, high blood pressure, or high cholesterol better. So connect with us on Facebook at Wellspring Family Medicine to take advantage of all the offerings we'll have to help you live a healthier, happier life. Greetings, I am Darrell Presley, owner and operator of Presley Cares Mortuary Services of West Columbia, South Carolina. Our mission here at Presley's is to provide excellent, quality, superior funeral service to all, regardless of economic status, religion, or race. With our society being embedded with a diverse class of people, our staff here at Presley's pledges to offer only one class of service and that is superior so rendering professional services to the families that call upon us is not an option it's mandatory presley cares mortuary services where we are caring for you and your loved one Oh, yeah. Listen, huge shout out to LLE Construction Group with more accounting services and uh, Sweet Delights by Lynn, one of our, some of our great sponsors and partners for First Sundays. Like a two-day show, we we don't take it lightly at all that you all support us in the way that you do. My sister Lynn has some holiday specials that'll be coming up. Sweet Delights by Lynn. Make sure y'all reach out to them. Find them on social media. Find them on on, on Google. Make sure y'all search them out and get more information about them and their services and utilize these businesses. Coming up next week, I want to talk about this whole uh, situation that happened in Atlanta, Georgia with uh, Keith Lee. Food critic goes to Atlanta, Georgia, and and points out some bad service amongst uh, black businesses, black amongst some of the black restaurants, and it was an uproar. And the discussion came up: was can a black business afford that? Can they afford to have that level of of critique uh, 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 thrown at them? So I want to talk about that. I want to want to have an honest conversation about that. That's, that's that's coming up next week. We'll talk about that on Tuesday. Um, but uh, yeah. Again, y'all share the room. Let folks know where we are. We're going through a wonderful expansion process right now. We're doing a lot of heavy lifting. Uh, uh, I, it's, it's a little running joke. So we, we so we have these great chairs that we that we uh, this and I purchased. We we did not buy cheap chairs for people to sit on, and because we didn't buy those cheap chairs, um, I can sometimes sometimes make me a nice little makeshift bed. So in my office, uh, my temporary office, there's a I have about six chairs pulled together, and that's where I, I sleep at. If I got to stay here and work on something, we do some heavy lifting right now. So y'all pray for us and make sure y'all support us as we grow this uh, this company, this brand, what we've been called to do here in media, arts and entertainment. And just make sure that you all hold us down.
as much as you possibly can. You can you can always support us by with a donation to uh, the uh, producer I can tune day show cash app. You can also get some some uh, advertising purchase some advertising packages that we have. Get your business out there. And right now, when you support us on a with an advertising package, you get access to some amazing discounts for our promos. Our promos are somewhat pricey. Some people call them pricey because we 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 do a good job with our promos. But that is because it takes time. It takes effort and it takes skill and uh, we have some great skills inside this house but when you advertise with us particularly right now we got a great sale highly discounted rates on your promos and your uh sizzle reel uh, pr- uh, prices so yeah that's all all things we're trying to do to benefit and help to grow not just what we do but to help to grow and support what you do all right listen uh donna yes you know something i've i've, I've learned listening uh, uh observing even you and Uh even myself uh pastor tuck included and -hmm. some other folks that i come into contact with that how you age is 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 a a choice yes it is it's 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 not a it's not mandatory Mm -hmm. that you have to quote unquote get old i I feel like you'll get older Mm -hmm. but i believe age and 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 what's called Mm -hmm. as old is a state of mind yes i agree and you know, and, and, and again, and again, I'm not exposing Donna's age because Donna is proud of her age. But Donna got that Benjamin Button. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> she aging backwards. Don, Donna younger than us. <laughs> I told my daughter. I said, um, when I got to a certain number, I said I started to go backwards, and soon she's going to be older than me. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don, Donna got that Benjamin Button. Don, Donna done passed us going the other direction. <laughs> Jaleel. Oh God! See, I wasn't, I wasn't even gonna talk about. It. I forgot about this. Talk, tell, tell them what happened on on boy, boy, on Friday at church when we when we arrived that and, and we were we were setting up. Remember, remember, you remember what happened when when, when you told the ladies or told the guy? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. 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 There was oh. two ladies who came up to dad and asked him like, uh, "I'm that your daddy?" <laughs> And they were confused. They were like real confused. And I'm like, yes, yes, yes. And I told him my age, and he t- and he told him his. He was 52, and he and they were like, and they were like, they, and they're like, you a good 52. <laughs> <laughs> they said you oh, a that good. Dad, 52. That dad just looked real good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, 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 Myrtle, that's a good 52 hey, hey. right there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, Oh, oh my God! <laughs> Play your haters ball. <laughs> hey, hey, that 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 that, that just for me. He just got it in bulk hey, at Costco. Hey, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. I told him. I told him. I said. Let me t- I, I I told. I said this on on, on stage Sunday. I said because uh, because a couple it's a couple of little folks. I'm gonna call them out. It's a couple of folks in the in the vicinity of our studio, uh, younger people that 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 regularly flirt with me, say little stuff. I said, ah, okay. I said. I, I said. I said. I'm gonna tell you what I'm gonna do. I said, I'm gonna go up in there one day. I'm gonna let, I'm gonna let this gray grow out and let these sides grow out. <laughs> let me let, let, look like George Jefferson. Let, this, let these sides grow out and let, let that little piece in the top grow out right there. Oh no! <laughs> and roll right up back up in there. Just, just stay away for about three weeks and roll back up in there. You, you gonna really look like Uncle Frank? <laughs> exactly. You gonna really Uncle, Uncle Frank on that freestyle. Man. Well, really look like him then. It's, it's, They're gonna say, "Where's your son? <laughs> Where your son at? You know, I can you know tell that. The comedian, the one, the one that got oh, Yeah, where's your son? Where's your grandson? <laughs> I'm tell, I tell, I tell you something. You got, you got to know what to do. You got, you got to know how to rock it. I keep telling you, if you can, if you can keep your weight to a certain level, shave that head. And color that hair. You can, you can. I'm gonna rock this for a minute. I'm gonna see how long I can rock it. I'm, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm gonna be 76, looking like what? Is how old is he? That's 76. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Stay in shape, exercise. But, 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 but to the point, Donna. Uh-huh. To your point. Um. Uh. Uh. Talk about the fact. I want to talk about you. You to talk. Talk for a minute because we're supposed to play the video, Donna's video. Oh. Or of jumping out the, the plane. Uh-uh. And I apologize that we did not pull that. That's okay. I apologize, y'all. It's all right. I really want y'all to see that. John, Don, yeah, why he jumping out airplanes? I want to see that. Airplanes. Yeah. A I R P L A N E S. Airplanes. Okay. <laughs> and but but talk about that. It, when when did when did this mindset that I'm going to grow older uh-huh. from with a different mindset come for you? How old were you when you adopted that way of thinking? I I never even thought about it. I just always just. 
do what I feel is fun and things that I like to do. I, I never even thought about, you know, you know, I never even think about my age until somebody else brings it up. And says, Interesting. Oh, uh, you can't, you shouldn't be doing that at your That's age. Good. You need to slow down. And I'm like, well, how do you know? Because I've never been this age before and you're not this age. Mm. So how do you know what I need to do? Mm. Interesting. You know, so that that's always, you know, uh, oh, you're that. That's how old you are. Oh, you don't look that age. OK, well, all right. I appreciate that. But what, what am I supposed to look like? And you I know? think today that's really a choice. I think mm -hmm. today because folks do not care of themselves the way they used mm -hmm. to carry. Mm -hmm. I, I, I jokingly say on stage it's part of my material, but it's true. I say, like, you ever seen a picture of your grandma and realize that you older than your grandma was in right. the picture right now? Right, right. But 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 she kind of carried herself with a grandma vibe, mm -hmm. and, and 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 it and it caused them to appear older. I think because old <clears throat> age was a state of mind. And I don't think I don't think it's necessarily anything. even. Anything. How they carried themselves. Yeah. A lot of it is living. Right. Your grandma had sixteen kids. <laughs> mm. Your grandma was tired. Ooh, working in the field. Yeah. 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 Your, gra your grandma was tired. Mm -hmm. You know. And yeah. then sometimes you're looking at people because you can look at people you went to high school with, and I, you don't look the same because it's like, mm -hmm. dude, they've been out there smoking and drinking every night. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That, that stuff put age on you. you it's, it's it some, a lot of it's got to do with how you live. Yeah. That's right. That, that, that's, that's so right. true right that there. Uh, <laughs> Elijah Elijah um, um, was working at this convenience store and he <laughs> and he would say he said that he, working at the convenience store, he said he could tell what the person did when they came in, in the door. Mm -hmm. And he said, he said, oh, yeah, he smoked weed or oh, she drank liquor or oh, he smoked cigarettes. He's, because, listen, what you do in life, it, it tell on you. It tell on you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it's it, it tell, I, heard, I heard i heard a girl last night i was walking this is to, to the car we was in here late last night i was walking to her, her to the car and um and, and i laughed because i heard a young lady way down the parking lot she had a party voice a party and, voice a party what does that sound like <laughs> is that like yo it's like, hey girl I, I, girl you know i you know it's like it's your voice is kind of hoarse in the background <laughs> It's like it's like you got a female's voice, like but it's been gra you look like you've been gargling with gravel. You've been, right. <laughs> you've been smoking and drinking and yelling over over voice. music. You've been yelling right. over loud music for the past 15, 20 years, and it just it's tan your voice. Mm -hmm. You every every time you like, girl, look who that is over there. Mm -hmm. No, come in. No, look who that is over there, huh? Mm -hmm. Look who that is over there in the corner. Yeah, that that way on your voice. You if you're doing your that down. two three nights a week yelling over loud music. And, and and staying up late and getting up, going to work, drinking liquor, smoking cigarettes, and smoking blunts. That wear your voice out. And by the time you're 42, you sound like you're 78. Hey, I can do that. What you doing, bro? Yep. It's like Mar like Simpson. It's, it's, uh -huh. it's like Mar Simpson and her sisters. Her sisters. <laughs> the sisters, yeah. Wow. <laughs> they had some terrible voices. Yes, they did. They did. Wow. Them girls, them girls was at the club on the regular, <laughs> and they were still smoking cigarettes. Oh, now Donna gave us some great notes here. She mm -hmm. said, "Life expectancy." Talk about the look. Let's look at some of your notes here, Donna. Okay. Um, so go ahead. The life ex expectancy for African American women, uh, African Americans, period, is seventy one. Really? That is crazy. Seventy one. Interesting. For white Americans, it's seventy six. For Hispanic Americans, it's seventy eight. And Asian Americans is eighty five. Hold That's up. a big difference. Okay, let's pause right there. We can't go no further before we deal with that. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. How is there such a drastic gap mm -hmm. between those different races and culture breakdowns right there? Wow. You got to really dig uh -huh. into that. Mm -hmm. What now? Okay, now, and we're not gonna just we're not gonna just glaze over and call it economics. Mm -mm finances guess what because i can guarantee you a lot of the hispanic americans mm -hmm. are folks who are immigrants folks who may not have came over here mm -hmm. with a whole bunch of money in their pocket mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. i'm not making assumptions i'm not being in any way uh, racist or or, or prejudiced anyway mm -hmm. but i'm saying you got to take those factors into consideration how is the hispanic life expectancy 78 mm -hmm. and black folks are 71 talk what, what, what are y'all thoughts about that pastor talk donna mm -hmm. stress is the number one factor in most in most health conditions yes mm -hmm. and if you look at it you know if you, you hear how, how people talk about uh they said that uh stress is an inherited thing mm -hmm. 
a lot of that stuff we carry in our DNA. Yeah. Mm. Our environment. But yeah. it's it's not only in our DNA, but it's it's a taught thing too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. It's a mindset. Mm-hmm. How how many how many how many how many people have learned to be worriers from their pet from their mothers and you know what I'm saying? That 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 stuff has come down. Yeah. It's handed down. Yeah. Yeah. And it's it's celebrated that you're supposed to be, you know, grinding it out. Mm-hmm. Worried about this, you're, worried you're about supposed, that. You're supposed to worry about this. You know, you got like like if you go back and like even when we talk about shows like Good Times, I mean, look, 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 look oh, that, yeah. that that show programmed us that that's what you're supposed to be doing. You're supposed to be worrying about how you're gonna make it and always waiting for the other shoe to drop. I'm like, mm. that stuff is programmed into our culture. Yeah, mm-hmm. this is good information, Donnie. Got on this list, and so what I'm gonna do right now? Let me go ahead and do some pre-production right now. <laughs> Let's move the topic of would you date an older man? Would you mm-hmm. consider dating somebody older, man, or male or female? Mm-hmm. Let's move that to Tuesday. Tuesday. Okay. okay. Let's move that to Tuesday. We'll 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 combine that with the conversation around uh uh uh, uh what's the other thing I talked about earlier? Um I just talked about it. Why, why am I drawing oh, a blank? the um black businesses? Black businesses in Atlanta. Uh, in yeah, Atlanta. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Talk black businesses. Let's talk about that. Let's combine those two and we'll talk about that, that on Tuesday if nothing else happens. Because y'all know. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Stuff happens, it but because sure this is some really good information here, and I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to rush through all of it. Mm-hmm. Um, t- t- top leading causes of death. Yes. Okay. Heart disease. Mm-hmm. Okay. That's stress. that's stress. That's dietary too. Yeah. Cancer. That's yep. definitely stress and dietary. Stress. Mm-hmm. Okay. Stroke. Mm-hmm. Stress. Stress. <laughs> mm-hmm. stress. 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 Accidental injuries. Okay. Mm-hmm. COVID nineteen. COVID was a defining moment for this country. It was. Yeah. Very much so. Drug overdoses. Mm-hmm. Okay, and suicide. Stress. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah, yeah, we go. Drug over and, and, and mm-hmm. both of those drug overdose and suicide. That those are those are some things that have really uh, grown in recent years, particularly in the African American community, because mm-hmm. at the time where people were saying it wasn't true, mm-hmm. but people would make blankets and say, black black folks don't commit suicide, black folks don't kill. They said, Nah, that's not true. That's not true. They ain't never been and true. Even if you, and even if you go back to COVID stress, because what what were the 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 factors that made people more susceptible? To COVID mm-hmm. were the underlying factors that were stress related. Correct. That's right. Yep. And and a lot of those were cultural. A lot of those were financial, mm-hmm. economics. You know. It, you know. Uh, healthcare. Mm-hmm. You know. Access to healthcare. Mm-hmm. Uh, d- depend on what community you live in. I mean. Mm-hmm. You know. But uh, most of those. Mo- but most of those conditions were like heart heart disease. All, all right. of the diabetes. All those things were stress related conditions. Right. Obesity. That that made you yeah. more susceptible to COVID in the first place. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Obesity is a big factor in it. It is a big Because it factor. could contribute so much to a lot of the health disparities that are prevalent and a lot within of people, our community. And a, lot of, and a lot of people overeat because of stress. Yeah. Exactly. Yep. 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 Exactly. Yeah. And, and, and that's a cycle. That's a cycle. That's a cycle. Yep. I, I talk, I've talked to a friend of mine who, 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 who was dealing with some health issues, and he, and he was sharing with me how eating and being overweight led to more problems in a particular area and then he, he would gain more weight and then it would cause more more health problems he would gain more weight cause more health problems and just a vicious cycle mm-hmm. you know you, and, and, and somehow you got to figure out how to break it uh, mm-hmm. uh, until something happens that then that takes the full focus i saw i saw a brother on uh who i didn't really know him but clearly we must be facebook friends or either he follows me on facebook but i saw his page he was talking about the fact that he has to lose weight to get on the donor, the kidney donor list, mm-hmm. and so he was, you know, it was soliciting prayer uh, to that he would lose weight. He has he has been dropping weight, so uh, clearly he's taking his his healthcare the responsibility of his health health care into his own hands, right. um, and is working to to be able to uh, uh, get what he needs. This is an interesting fact, here, Donna. Mm-hmm. Light lowest life expectancy state, mm-hmm. Mississippi, right. 71.9. Stress? Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. I was like, wow. Highest. You're saying you live in Mississippi is stressful. <laughs> well, well, I, you know, you know well, here's, this is an interesting point. Highest life expectancy state, Hawaii. At 80. 80. Low stress. Points. What did he say? Yeah. <laughs> Ain't lose, man. <laughs> Sand and beach and, you know, mm. but. Um, listen to the ocean. Yep, you say Hawaii and you, get, you calm down. Right. Yeah. Peace comes over you when you just think Hawaii. <laughs> You, you, somebody, somebody say Hawaii. What, what you say? Ha, have you ever? Have y'all? Have you? Either of you been to Hawaii before? I have not. Yes. Okay. Mm-hmm. Hawaii has something that, that I've seen nowhere else in the world. Mm. They have this misty rain. Mm-hmm. It is crazy. 
Because you just be sitting in, in the middle of the day and it might be a little bit half overcast. Mm -hmm. And then there's this rain that's coming down, but it's the it's the type, it's like the mist that that you spray over your plants. Oh, it's like you walk plant. through in the, in the amusement park. It's like the little mist thing that you got in the amusement park, you walk through the cool yard. Right. And it's coming, it's coming out the sky. You, you like sitting there, I'm like, I never that was one of the craziest experiences. Uh, the 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 first time I went to Hawaii, I was like, wow. I don't know, that's the only time I've only been to Hawaii once, mm -hmm. and uh, but yeah, that was one of the, one of the one of the craziest things. It's interesting, Mississippi yeah. and Hawaii. I think I think a lot of that's economics too, because definitely mm -hmm. Mississippi is definitely a financially depressed state. Yeah, you know it's it's crazy because I was watching Marshawn Lynch on Club Shay Shay uh, episode last night. Just happened to been watching that, mm -hmm. and he was talking about he he bought a house in Hawaii. Mm -hmm. He said one of the reasons why he was over there, and he said he went, he was he was over there. And he said he was with his little guide or whatever, and he said he wanted some bud, and they'd take him to the hood. And he said he was just noticing that no matter what what the people's life was like, even the people in the hood was chill. Mm. Yeah, and he was yeah. just like everybody over there was just chilling. Everybody yeah. was just loving life, no matter what their economic level was. They was just loving life. Yeah, they was chilling. Yeah, and now I will say this because I did. I found out some things about Hawaii uh, prior to the fire that they had. But Hawaii, interestingly enough, it has a, some serious financial issues because Hawaii Hawaii is largely a state that is fully focused on tourism. Mm -hmm. So if you're not in the tour, tourism industry, then oftentimes you had a loss, right? You had a deficit. You have some some serious financial is, uh, issues. Um. But then the, the tourism industry has limited, oftentimes limited pay, limited limited mm -hmm. pay from the tour, tourism industry. Mm -hmm. Okay, you know, you know, it, it ain't but so much money you can make as a waiter. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, it, it, there's there's some there's some clear ceilings there, and a lot of times the people who are in the driver's seat or the people who are the business owners, uh, the, the, whether that be small businesses or corporations or the mom and pops, are not native Hawaiians. Mm. Exactly. So, 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 other people come there and they open up a sandwich shop or they open up mm. a a a bait shop, a tour tour guide, or whatever right. the business is. And so, the so there's a vicious cycle even with the 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 uh, indigenous uh, indigenous people of Hawaii, where they mm. they're beginning to speak out against you know the uh, the the economic oppression mm. that is so prevalent in Hawaii. Wow, well, it's the same. It's the same thing you see that everywhere. everywhere it's like yeah. you see the same thing in in Puerto Rico and Jamaica. And I mean, it's 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 probably just about everywhere like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The resort areas, the places where people stay, are the best. And then, like I said, if you go to the actual places where everybody else lives, they're they're oppressed. Mm -hmm. But that it's so funny how even those people they 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 still have a better mentality yeah. than a lot of people. Over here, they have better living conditions. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because oftentimes, to your point, their mindset is relaxed. It is mm -hmm. chill. Their mindset is uh, it, they it, living it, in paradise. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah, yeah. You know, I talk about going to Aruba all the time um, because we've been going there for over thirty-five years, mm -hmm. and um, it it we've seen it go from like just dirt with goats going across the road. You have to wait for the goats to go across the road mm -hmm. to now it looks like Myrtle Beach or Vegas in some areas. Aruba. Uh, wow. Aruba, yeah. And it's, wow. uh, it has grown up so much. So many hotels now and everybody's coming down there. And like, I, I agree with Pastor Tuck, like we get to, uh, you know, for 35 years we've been going down there. Mm -hmm. And so we get to meet some of the indigenous people there mm -hmm. and know them and go to their houses and whatnot. And it, they're just so chill, you know. They, wow. yeah, they're just so relaxed and inviting and everything. And um, you know, you just <laughs> the tourism that comes there. Yeah. Oh man, yeah. Yeah. it's crazy. Wow, it's crazy how people just come there. And then, but you know, the the one thing I don't like about it is that they bring their attitudes. They're coming to relax, but before they get to the relaxed part of themselves, mm -hmm. they're still, uh, you know, and you still might see that every once in a while. Yeah. But it, it it's just, you want everybody to come and relax and have a good time. Yeah. That's what they're coming for. Let's get to some know? of the comments. Uh, yeah. On, 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 yeah, to, that's a good point. Mm -hmm. And uh, so some, so some of the folks who are, Agreeing with you in the comments here, uh, <laughs> similar sentiment. Uh, Nina uh, uh, Fakunle, uh, she said, "Wherever you are, make time for yourself in Christ. Mm -hmm. God to the mountains, breathe fresh air, mm -hmm. meditate and exercise." Yeah, right. 
Yeah. Th- those are ways to, to live longer right there. Yeah. Um, Mocha Tosser said, I love going to places I haven't been and asking the locals to take me where they hang out. Yeah, Ooh. yeah, yeah. You be learn so much. You got to be careful with that, Mocha, though. <laughs> be careful with that. <laughs> Mocha. But, but, yeah, it is good yeah. if you can get some good people <laughs> to take you around. Like, yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, I, yeah, mm-hmm. I, I take you to, uh, you mm-hmm. come with me. Yeah, you come with come me. Yeah. <laughs> be careful. I remember we, we, Unissa and I uh, uh, were on a cruise, and um, we had her mother was with us, and it was they they. I, I a lot of times I don't always get get off the boat. Sometimes it can, and she that particular stop, I was like, you know, you and your mom go ahead. I'm gonna chill. And I, and cause I'm talking about, cause I thought I don't, this is my time to get some rest. I'm right. like, I'm like for particularly I had to do a show, I think too, mm-hmm. you know, so, so it wasn't a full, I think I probably had two or three shows I had to do. So it wasn't a full vacation for me, mm-hmm. but, uh, but they told me some of the places they was like kind of plundering in, like, you know, going, I'm like, why, why, why y'all get way over there? Was like, yeah, we went here and then we met this person. They took us over here and we brought this and they took us here. I'm like, I'm like, Hey, you know, y'all need to be careful just mm-hmm. on these you know, I it just y'all y'all done left the group. You don't you done left you done done, done left the ship group and y'all I'll off be on your number seven. He <laughs> <laughs> take it seven. Uh, James thinking the steward said my dad was a worrier, but he was ninety six when he passed from natural causes. Wow. All right. Wow. All right. Wow. There it is. Ninety six. But this is grandfather said this. He he passed at ninety nine. I said mm-hmm. and, and, and worked. Literally worked, y'all. Cooked for himself. Mm. Mine was clear until the end. And, and when I asked him uh, how he he lived so long without any health issues, he never took medicine. He said to me, he said, I don't take medicine and I stay out the hospital. Mm-hmm. That was his response. I don't take medicine and I stay out the hospital. Wow. Like, wow. 99 years old when he passed. And wow. was still, you know. I'm talking about no curve in his back, straight up, working, wow. wor- like literally working on cars till the end at 99 years old. Mm. Well, you met my, 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 my wife's aunt, you know, and she's 103. Yeah. You remember, remember you met her at, at my mother-in-law's funeral? Skin flawless. I was like, I was like, how old is this woman? <laughs> and she, she's still playing a guard. She's still playing a garden every year. Yeah. 90. I'm talking about beautiful woman. 103 years old. 103. I was 104, like, I think, next month. Oh, wow. Yeah, in December. I was like, I was like, what? And I, some, some, Carol, Carol Chisholm said, could it be that black? Oh, I'm sorry. I thought, I thought, she, I thought, I'm sorry. I, I misread it. I thought she, that's, she's talking about something else, but I, I thought she was saying that black don't crack. Mm-hmm. I, and here's the thing black, black don't crack, but it do stretch. But it, it do, do, it do fold. It, it do fold. It do wrinkle. <laughs> yes, it does. It does. It does. If you eat, if you if, listen, if you eating all type of stuff, I and I've seen this with myself personally. Mm-hmm. I've seen sometimes when I'm eating better, I uh-huh. feel better and I look better. Mm-hmm. And then I've seen myself when I'm eating bad and it shows. I'm like, oh, sir, right. what are you doing? Mm-hmm. Should you really be eating that? Let's go back to Donna's list. Donna compiled okay. a great list of information. I want to make sure we get to some more of it because it's really good stuff on here. Mm-hmm. Um, Donna, going to that second part, the next part, you're talking about um, the best things you can do for your health and longevity. Okay. First thing, prayer and and have a solid uh, belief foundation. You know, that is going to be number one, really, before you do anything Absolutely. else. That's number one. Then uh, not smoking. And it says drink in moderation, mm-hmm. you know, drink in moderation. Yeah. Get your sleep, how sleep is so important. And we run in the rat race right now um, every day, each and every day. And I'm guilty of this myself. You don't get enough sleep. Your blood pressure goes up. You gain weight. Um, you know, you're not thinking clearly sometimes. Right. I, I'm, I, I have to, you know, I'm raising, who raise your hand with me if that's you. That's me. Raise your hand with me. Okay, so... Um, so that's another thing. Find a doctor who specializes in, especially if you're getting older, mm-hmm. in geriatric medicine oh, or anti-aging. Yeah, anti-aging, yeah. Find a doctor that specializes in that. Hmm. Because I use Oil of Olay. Yeah, <laughs> that's his doctor. <laughs> doctor Olay, yes, yes. Um, re, re, uh, <laughs> I just saw that joker sitting up there with cold cream on his face at night. <laughs> <laughs> and 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 um and the uh, cucumber cucumber on his eyes. with a, with a bond uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> listening to some old school 
<laughs> Go I wear beard about it. <laughs> <laughs> I wear a beard bonnet. In a beard bonnet. A beard bonnet. <laughs> a beard bonnet. <laughs> I laugh about that. Uh, she goes and she go buy me one. I said, oh, "What? That's they got him. Right. That's right. They got him. They got him. Put it up in there. Put it up in there. Oh man. Not go. I'm sorry. Okay. Get to the, get no, some more on the list. I good. apologize. That was good. That was good. Um, reprogram your vision of age, and you talked yeah. about that earlier. Yeah. Age is a set. Old is a set. Uh, is a is a mindset. A mindset. Yeah. yeah. So get out of that. Get rid of regret and guilt. Mm. Man, those Say things that. are take you down. Yeah. Regret and guilt. Yeah. Hey, get over it. Confess it. Yeah. Get over it and yeah. move on. Yeah. You yeah. can't change it. Yeah. So re- and that's what that's I talk it. about when I talk about yeah. stress. Your 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 man. You don't realize how the way your mind operates, how it affects your body. Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. When yeah. you're constantly rehearsing negative thoughts. Your body is uh, releasing chemicals and hormones that are actually deteriorating your body. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Something it says here, uh, and and two things I want to make sure I get to before we go to break. Mm -hmm. Um, It says to uh, monitor your food intake and decrease it by thirty percent. Right now, that that's something that I've seen. Again, I always say, y'all, if I'm at if I got a deadline, some whether it's a writing deadline Mm -hmm. or a production deadline, Mm -hmm. and if I simply say I'm I'm dropping my carbs. I'm mm-hmm. dropping my sugars mm-hmm. and I'm dropping bread, mm-hmm. which is which is a carb, but yes. particularly bread, sugars, mm-hmm. and just eat like fruits or vegetables. Let me tell you, I can mm-hmm. I can get a lot of stuff done, mm-hmm. and, and 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 so so I'm just looking at this thinking about here thirty percent. What what does it say? They say that productive people, particularly mm-hmm. productive people in other countries, mm-hmm. they eat at eighty percent full as opposed to they instead of eating to get all the way full. Right. right. Yeah. Which allows you to be more lucid, more clear. At the end of the day, your body's not breaking down food. Mm-hmm. And so so you can get and push through and get more done. Another thing I want to mm-hmm. get to here is mm-hmm. is it mentioned plastic surgery. Oh, nah, yeah. I don't. Nah. But that, that, that's what people, some people are doing that to fight old age. That's what some of the things that people are doing. Some of them, but yep. some folks, let me, let me tell you something. Man, it, it, you got to be careful, y'all. You start messing, mm-hmm. particularly you start messing with your face, y'all. Mm-hmm. Some, some of y'all out here looking like, <laughs> I ain't even going there. Yeah. I ain't even going there. Yeah. yeah. That's crazy, but that's what they're doing. Load up on vitamin C. That is that's really mm. good. Load up on vitamin that's C. Good. Um, Oranges will be here next week, yeah. y'all. Oh, Lord. Like, like new Jesus. Jesus. We'll jump on that. They'll be Oranges. here next week, y'all. Jesus. Uh-huh. Jesus. And, and another thing that's really <laughs> that you can do is to be around young people. Yeah. Yeah. Mentor some, mentor some young people. They're, young people will keep you young because they'll keep you moving and you need to exercise. But you got to also so. know when you hang around young people, be careful dressing like young people. Oh, Lord. Yeah, yeah don't, oh, do Lord. don't do don't, that. Don't do that. Yeah, don't there's, do that. There's, there you go. There's a lady. Uh, I wish I could find that video. There's a lady, you know, she, she, hair full of silver hair. Mm-hmm. Beautiful lady in her 70s. Mm-hmm. Um, and she's talking about aging gracefully and how she doesn't act her age. While I agree with that sentiment, I'm like, ma'am, but that dress, ma'am, really? Really? It was too young. It was too young. Miss, Miss, Miss Dottie, put some clothes on, Miss Dottie. Oh, <laughs> Miss Dottie. You know, but Miss Dottie is on. at the age where she said, I'm going to dress how I want to dress. Now, ain't that Miss Dottie? You no, know, go ahead, Miss Dottie. And hey, Miss Dottie, I mean, <laughs> on his face, on his face, it was cute. <laughs> I'm not saying it looked terrible, but it, it's it's comical when you see some <sighs> man. It's after a certain age, you got uh-huh. to stop shopping at City Trends. Oh, All right, family, man. stay right there, y'all. Don't get. <laughs> <laughs> I, I did say after a certain age. After a certain age. After a certain age. After a certain age, you got to stay out of City yep. Trends. Mm-hmm. I'm just telling you, your body can't take it. Them, them cheap fabrics, it hug your body one. different. After ah, one, it hug your body different. You said I don't care. It hug your, I'm comfortable. Yeah. <laughs> As soon as you old enough to go in the store for yourself, <laughs> that's the age. <laughs> Shout out to City, City Trinity. They, they right down the block. Uh-huh. Stay right there, family. We'll be right back. Yeah. This is Docky Tunde Show. One of the best stories that I have in satisfying one of our clients happened just recently. Uh, we had a young lady that was doing did a family reunion for, and then they came back and placed a reorder. 
Now, when they placed the reorder, we could not get everything done in time. Well, we had to pull a lot of strings, make some things happen, work a little bit late, but it worked out where we were able to get the t-shirts printed and out for delivery. That's the things that we do for our clients, and we want to do that for you as well. It's easy to become frustrated when ordering branded products and apparel, but PNB Promotionals is here to help ease those frustrations with their over 800,000 promotional products and apparel. Whether screen printed t-shirts, embroidered polo shirts, stadium cups, umbrellas, or mugs, PNB Promotionals has just what you need. Log on to pbpromotionals.com and start your order now. That's pbpromotionals.com. Or send an email to info at pbpromotionals.net. Info at pbpromotionals.net. Imprinting the best for less. P and B Promotionals. Stop walking in front of the prophet. Oh, yeah. We out of time, y'all. We out of time. Ox Show family. We got to go. But um, I do want to get to a little bit more of that list, on because there's some good stuff in there. I, I want to go down into the, to the part where you said things people are doing to fight old age, what you can do to fight aging outside of, uh, outside of dying your beard. Um, <laughs> um, Pest Tuck, Pest Tuck uh, uh, the dad was in the dye itself. He just leave a section of his beard gray. All right. Hey. Yeah. I, 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 I uh, accent my beard. Yeah. Okay. Sure. I like. Look at that. Uh, that's nice. Trust me. As soon, as soon as it turns all white, I'm gonna leave it all white. You don't know. You ain't. Just, you ain't. You ain't. You ain't not dyed it in so long. It might be all white. All white. No. Oh, I, oh, trust me. I don't. I don't. I don't even dye my beard. I just add a little accent to it. Uh-huh. Okay. To blend it in. Uh huh. Because I, I don't like my stuff looking splotchy. Once my stuff go all white, I'm rolling with it. All right. I, I will say there's some brothers I see on, on, on social and that goes to a comment by uh, Nina. She said, you you are as young as you feel. Mm-hmm. They are got grandpas still looking good in yes. do-rags and Jordan. Not do-rags and Jordan. Not, not do-rags. Not, no. do, do-rags could and Bobby's look. look. Could y'all just let us have our fun? I saw a dude one day. <laughs> just let us have our fun. <laughs> Look, this I saw kind of monitors day. what we wearing. Just let us have our fun. <laughs> I saw a dude one day had some gray dreads. I'm like, bro, stop. Oh, I, stop. I ain't got a problem with gray dreads. No, you should have seen them. I was like, bro, stop. No. Nah, they, they look no, nice. Bro. Did they start oh, back here? Did they? The, yes. Did the, okay. Yes. yes. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, bro, stop. Yeah. Stop. If, if, you, if your cornrows start, start back here, it just come a time. If 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 your cornrows look like a parking lot, it's time to get rid of them. Mm-hmm. Yeah, if you got a I'm whole like, bro, space stop. in between let the rows, yeah, mm-hmm. let it go, bro. You're right. not thugging no more, bro. Let it go. Yeah. Yeah. Just let yeah. us have our fun. <laughs> when you no. get up there, you'll see. You'll see. I'm already up there. You ain't up there. Yeah. You, no, 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 no. <laughs> no. You ain't up there 52? yet. 52, 52. No. Okay. You ain't up there. Okay, I digress. You're halfway there. I digress. You I about halfway you, when, my, when my stuff turn all the way <laughs> salt, I'm rock. Mm-hmm. I'm rocking with it. See, yeah. I just don't. I just don't like the way my pepper is splotched in right now. <laughs> I will say, I, there's a, there's a few brothers that I see. Also, some of my age, some of even mm-hmm. some couple guys who went to school with me who have uh, even some younger than me mm-hmm. who have like the full white beard mm-hmm. and they know how to wear it well. The, 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 the full, you know, gray hair. They, 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 it's very encouraging to see those guys. I'm like, man, you know what? Okay, that, that, that it, it, it looks good. Mm-hmm. You know, but you got with all things, you got to know what you're doing. You got to, mm-hmm. yeah, wear it, right? Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, if I could find the stuff to to white my stuff, like I can black my stuff, I would go ahead and white it all the way out. Oh, I, oh, I got some for you now. Mm-hmm. Oh, now if you oh, want to do that, can white it all oh out. yeah, no oh yeah, oh yeah, oh, yeah. I'm gonna rock it. Oh yeah, I'm gonna rock it. There's some, there's a couple things you can do mm-hmm. to go ahead and fill it in and, and make it look, you know. Mm-hmm. Like, like to maintain that fullness that you like. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, they got yeah. some. Yeah, they got some stuff. Yeah, I got, I got to find, I got to find my stuff to keep it right. Cause like I said, I got, I like my stuff uniform. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead, Donna. Read some more. Of the th- some things you can do to uh, fight. Uh, to fight aging. Old, yeah. To fight aging. Okay. So eating antioxidants that's mm-hmm. always going to help. Um, and Mocha Toss is your, your. I know she's in, she's listening. So um, 
I know she she's going to have some things to say too, and I and yeah. I welcome them. Yeah. Um, eating antioxidants, eating fermented foods like sauerkraut, kimchi, th- things like that. They always say that that's good. Um, and I want to say it's for very good for you. Kimchi, okay. I hate sour. Um, super fruits. Super fruit. Yeah. Um, getting sleep. Uh, I'm yeah. reading off this list, and I don't have my glasses, so y'all. But um, mm. getting healthy exercise, getting um, getting exercise, and eating healthy fats. Okay, healthy fats like avocado, yeah, olive oil. Yeah. Eating the healthy fats, it's good. Yeah. Avocados. I never thought they were gonna they were good until I made my own at home, and I was like, this thing is delicious. Oh yeah. So yeah, avocados. Manage your stress. Um, exfoliate and moisturize. Mm-hmm. Yes, that's mm-hmm. so important to keep that skin good. Yeah, collagen. Get some collagen in your diet. Okay. Collagen and some protein. Get those in your diet, mm. and that will help with your skin. Drink water, number one. Drink yeah. water. Hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. Mm. You can't even say that enough because that takes care of your entire system. Yeah. Hydrating. I tell so. people all the time, if you ever... Mm-hmm. Alkaline water. When yes, I, alkaline water. When I eat something bad and I know it was bad, mm-hmm. I, I, I drink me a big old large... Where is it? I got one right here. Mm-hmm. Tristan, hand me that hand me that water mm-hmm. right there. I, I, this, this, yeah. I, this, I call this... When I turn up, and I turn eat something up. I shouldn't do, which I shouldn't do. Mm-hmm. I turn up that water and flush turn my system. It it, 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 it really does make a big difference. Mm-hmm. And it, and it, whatever you whatever you got in your system, it gets it out quick. That's right. That's right. It really does. And Mocha, say, what about sea moss? Sea moss, yes, definitely. Oh my Sea oh. moss is one of the, you know. Uh, Ak, I think um, your mom takes sea moss, yeah, doesn't we, she? We yeah, we need to do a whole yes. show about sea moss. Sea moss, yes, yes. I, I'm not gonna tell you who you know what company mm-hmm. or what brand of water right. is because they're not they're not they're not uh, they're not uh sponsoring. sponsoring us. But this is mm-hmm. this is I get these right here. Very inexpensive. Mm-hmm. I prob I I I'll have a few of these at the house. Mm-hmm. I keep some in the car. And I got some here at the office. If I eat mm-hmm. some, I know I shouldn't eat. Oh, if I just just in, in general, mm-hmm. I knock out probably two to three of these a day. That's good. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's mm-hmm. just, I mean, it, and, and, and the best thing for me, mm-hmm. I chug them. Yep. Like, I, I turn it up and knock it out, mm-hmm. you know. Is that two liters? This that is drinking? one liter. One liter? Yeah. Okay, yeah. so one you liter. need four, at least four liters. Four liters. Okay, so, so, I need, so I need one yeah. more of these a yeah. day. If you drink one in, in the morning, noon, Evening and night, you got them covered. Problem is for me though is, is like have me run into the bathroom. Though. That's yeah. one thing I do not like. Well, you're you're flushing out your toxins at yeah. the same time. So, and last thing, I know we have we're short on time. Um, and this is important. Mm-hmm. Get to the dentist. Yeah. Brighten your smile. Get to the dentist because a lot of bacteria and stuff grows in the mouth, gets in your stomach, yeah. tears up that gut. Your gut is mm. one of the most important things in your body, and we ignore our gut. Yeah. And it's it is leaking into our systems, mm. poisoning poisoning us. Mm. So um, look at getting something for your gut, probiotics, um, uh, prebiotics. Get that stuff in your gut. But we'll we have to do a whole show. So like so Don is going to post that list. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. To her social media, mm-hmm. and then I'm going to share okay. with on, yeah. on my social media. Pastor, mm-hmm. if you could do the same, that'd be great. Mm-hmm. But I think it just would be good to to get that. See, these are some good topics, some good mm-hmm. uh, 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 strategies here mm-hmm. to to age gracefully and age slower. Um, coming up Tuesday, we're going to talk about it. Okay, mm-hmm. and here's a question: You know, what's what's too old for you? Like in terms of aging, it's gonna be a question we'll ask ask somebody. What's too old in terms of dating? Would you marry somebody that is significantly older 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 than you? Okay, uh, Pastor Tucker and I, of course, are, are, are both have been married for a long time. Both of us are, are, are right there with our wives in terms of in terms of age, aging aging. Uh, but so so but 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 Donna Donna, I'm gonna answer that question. <laughs> I, I wouldn't marry anybody that named, not named Pastor Stephanie. <laughs> Say what? I wouldn't marry anybody not named Pastor Stephanie. I, you, it, that's right. right. That's right. All Praise right. the Lord. Praise the Lord. Right. Um, uh, uh, I concur. I concur. I would say the same thing for me in terms of you, Nissa. Um, uh, I tell her she got me spoiled. And uh, mm-hmm. um, mm-hmm. messed me up. God dang it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> messed me up, boy. <laughs> <laughs> ruined me. Just done ruined me. Ruined. Uh-huh. Uh, um, uh, but would I marry Eunice again if she was 65 mm-hmm. right now? I marry my wife twice a day and three times on Sunday. Would you marry if she was 77? That's up. Twice a day and three Seven, times on at, Sunday. At 77? Mm-hmm. 
at 77? Twice a day and three times on Sunday. Right. Donna, what, right. what, what's your cap, Donna? It keeps moving up, you know? <laughs> 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 yeah, I'm. I'm more concerned about the lower range than the higher range. I'll. I'll go. I'll go. They're active. They do things. Hold on, hold on. You know. I'll, I'm more <laughs> concerned about the lower range. Hold than on, the hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm sorry. Mm-hmm. I cannot just just move past that. <laughs> you said, "Are you concerned?" You mean how low? You mean you're more? So you 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 you're open I'll to a young man. Oh yeah. Okay. So you 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 would much rather. Mm-hmm. Go younger. Only, only if they are. It's not okay. So I would date somebody fifty-five. That's probably my cutoff point. Fifty-five. Okay. Fifty-five. All, uh-huh. right. All right. But an older guy, if he's active, he likes to do the things I like to do. He, he's, you know, um, we can just meet. We can mesh. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. um, we're compatible. You know, he's he's serving the Lord. I want to, you know, I want to be under him because he's under the Lord. Mm-hmm. You know, I want to do that. So there's 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 things in it. So that he, so so if he's 86 so serving if the Lord, he's serving the Lord, active, doing good, active looking 86, well, looking well. You know, got his um, benefits ready. Okay, all right, right, I'm ready to go. <laughs> <laughs> he said he got his benefit. So let, so let me see your policies. That's right. That's right. Let me see I'm your insurance. He, he's <laughs> supposed to protect and provide. You know, even at 86, he's still supposed <gasps> to protect and provide. So, you know, you can't, he, he ain't getting out of that. He's not getting out of that. We got to go. It's 12 o'clock. <laughs> we got to go. It's too much. <laughs> Hey family, we gotta be gotta get up out of here. Tuesday, we're talking about it. Would you date somebody significantly older? Mm-hmm. Ladies, would you date an older guy? That's a new trend right now. We talk about that and a whole lot more. Let's just get into it. We gotta go. We gotta go. This is Doctor Tuesday Show. That's Donna J. That's Pastor Tuck. I'm Mark. Trisha and Jaleel's in the back until Tuesday. We're gonna see yes. y'all when we see y'all family. Love Peace. You family.